So the first hot take is Bronny is ass. Come on, Core. You seen that last game he had? He had 17 points. They lost by 50. It was that bad? I didn't see the score of the game. I just seen him get buckets. I seen him get buckets. He lost by 50. He shot 41% from the field, bro. He played like 35 minutes. He chucked up shots. But he's also 19, 18 years old. He's garbage. First of all, he's lazy. He doesn't run the floor. He doesn't have any basketball fucking knowledge of what to do on a fucking basketball bro court. his dad is he's he has to get used to it bro no he does not you've been playing basketball your whole fucking life this is this is high school that he doesn't know he doesn't know if i cut it opens up a shooter he doesn't know if i drive and a big steps up instead of going up against a seven footer i drop it off I think we're just a little hard on him. No, I don't he think sucks. No, I don't think he sucks. He sucks, he sucks, Darius. You're There's better lot, than him. No. <laughs> How you like this? Lob City music. How you like this? We're talking about sports. We got we gotta talk about Chris Move. Number 27. A <laughs> number 24. Oh. oh wait, no. Number 27 to number 21. You stunned. We got a pop heavy championship team. He's a theme. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. You know it's crazy. I really didn't watch Chris Move like that. Yeah, y'all, come on. Smooth City is like <laughs> big. Ooh, it's a. Oh, hold on, he can't say it. Smooth City is like big and P Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's my job to throw the lob. We can't lose with the shoes. No sportsmanship for the C P. You know the rules. It can't be B twenty five win tree. Who you know can drop a card then drop a nuke? Come on, two can then throw the alley oop from out of bounds to so half court. Took my pops to lift and passport. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> smooth to smooth. Man, Chris Smooth is a goat, bro. I can't believe you actually sucking that whole this thing. This YouTube, this YouTube shit, community gaming, bro. It won't be shit without Chris Move. Chris Move is a goat in ten, bro. Is he still making? Yeah, but it's boring. Oh, it's boring. That's <laughs> not. That's not how it used to be. We got older, bro. I don't think it's boring. I think I just grew up. It'd be like that, bro. It literally be like that. But but Chris Move, you goat in my eyes, bro. Shout out to Chris Move. Shout out to everybody watching us on TikTok and on YouTube and on Instagram. Shout out to everybody watching this podcast right now because this is episode number. 162. Yeah, you don't know how many times we, how many takes we just did for that. Yeah. But episode 162, people. I'm your host, DW Kadash. We got Corey back in the building. He's back for the third time this month. Technically four, the but third time. time in a row. In a row. He's trying to, he's trying to break me. He can't break me though. He's trying to. I ain't like, trying to break you. Hey yo. Wait, yeah. Wait. Wait a minute. Not like. What do you want, buddy? Hey yo, Diddy. <laughs> you Diddy today. Nah, but feel me. Fourth time in a row. He's trying to. He's Tibbs right now. And I'm Mikael Bridges. He's trying to see who going to break first. It's not going to be me. Hey, bro, we trying to win a chip, bro. We trying to get this money. We're trying I to get just, sponsors. I just, I just came from from four, no, what, six hours of scaring white people. <laughs> Were they really? That sounds wild. <laughs> I, I was, technically. Hey, he the mass is over there, people. Yeah. He was really, he was Diddy. In the uh, back. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was Pennywise. I That'd be crazy. That'd be a fire costume. <laughs> what, Diddy? A Diddy costume? Bad boys. It's coming out of his bed. <laughs> With the baby oil, just start squirting people. But you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, who's this attraction? <laughs> Don't stop. Can't stop. <laughs> Bad boys. Because <laughs> I ain't going to lie. This might be mad Diddy costumes. You already know. know. You already know. The baby oil is going to be in full effect. Or like baby oil costume. You know how people be. Stop. Won't stop. But if y'all new to the channel, subscribe, comment, like the video, put post notifications. It only helps us out, and it's all free. You know what I'm saying? We are we finally hit 12,000 subscribers. Shout out to everybody that subscribed to our YouTube channel. Continue to subscribe because we got more content coming your way. And today is something special for y'all. This is our very first and maybe only sports podcast. It's not gonna be our only. One. It's not gonna be our only one. But you know what? We're getting that DraftKings sponsorship next. Of course, but. Speaking of that, shout out to all other sponsors. Shout out to SeatGeek. Use code no regulars at SeatGeek to get twenty dollars off any orders over fifty dollars more. If you're new to SeatGeek, the MLB playoffs, World Series coming around, Yankees is in the freaking finals. Hopefully, we get the Mets in the finals too. A Subway I, Series for the finals. 
New York is going to go crazy. There is going to be up in flames. I'm not going to lie. Hopefully. And then we got the Liberty that might win. To- hopefully they would win tomorrow. They should. They, they were they folding. They folded over D. Oh, my but God. <laughs> all their losses is folding. They're not, they're not folding no more. And Sabrina Inescu, she went over for like 15, bro. She, she, she was garbage. Come on. She ain't doing that again. And we in the crib. Shout out to Liberty, bro. Yes, yeah, sir. Bro. And also, speaking of SeatGeek, I just used it Sunday to go to the Bengals-Giants game. I watched my favorite quarterback play against my favorite team. So I, I was able to use uh, SeatGeek and use Cold No Regulars to watch the Bengals play the Giants. So if it, if it worked for me, it could work for you too. Shout out to uh, the person that gave me these glasses. Because that's the reason. I'm not wearing these glasses for swag or because they're nothing special. You see the name on these? I ain't going... I ain't going to say who gave these to me, but shout out to the Giants player that gave me these glasses. You want to guess who it is? He's one of the best in the league. That's all I'm saying. I know. Um, you ain't. Yeah, I know. Y'all know who it is. Y'all really watch football. Know. And shout out to our other sponsor, Prize Pick. Use code no regulars on Prize Picks to get. If you put $5 in, you'll get $50 back automatically. I just won $500 on Prize Pick, actually. Really? Yeah. Come on, people. It's so I simple. On, I bet on Joe Shicey to get 200 yards against the Giants. Come Over on. Over under is it so easy. easy. It's so easy. Well, I didn't bet. I put in an entry. To get your picks in. Yeah, to get my picks in. I picked it. So shout out to prize picks. Use code no regulars. You know what I'm saying? Win, lose, or draw. You get $50 if you put $5 in. It's so simple. But today, like I said, we have a very special podcast today. We have our, our very first sports-only podcast. So this podcast is only going to be about sports. And we are going to do this because the NBA season is starting on Tuesday, Tuesday. Corey. And you already know who I'm putting in. I'm putting in opening night. Knicks to beat Boston. Of course. And Minnesota to beat Lakers. There's no there's only two games playing, right? I think so. Mm. Sure. And then my other in- entries that I'm putting in, Minnesota, not Minnesota, Memphis to beat Utah. Spread negative uh negative uh two and a half. Mm. Memphis is smashing that. Yes, sir. You should smash it too. Use code no regulars, people. Yo, you get free money. Regulars. And let's address the elephant in the room. We just had a technical difficulty for like 15 minutes, and I fixed it. And Darius want to say he fixed it. Nah, Darius is in here pressing buttons, unplugging the shit, <laughs> doing all types of weird shit for like 20 minutes. I'm over here falling asleep. As soon as I said, hold on, let me try something, I unplugged something and plugged it back in. As soon as I said that, did wow. that, it started working. He talking about, oh, I'm a genius. I fixed it. Am I the greatest of all time? Uh, uh. No, he's not because I fixed it. None of that happened until I start unplugging shit and plugging it back in. The crazy but, thing but is, Darius won't give me credit. It's cool. It's cool. I just get the crazy thing is, I gave him credit, but I showed him exactly what I did and showed him how I did it back and forth. And he still is like, nah, my plan worked, which it did. I, I let. It didn't really. I'm just gonna let him be happy though. But I ain't gonna lie, we was yeah, we was recording, we was in here. It's you know actually two a.m. right now. You know what's cool though? You know why? You know why that happened? Cause we was about to, we was talking about something unsports related. You know exactly. I mean? So what we got we talking about. What did we say? Before? Oh, talking about the the N, white people saying the n word. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. See, it was it was all. This, it's, this is a sports podcast. I'm not, I'll say that next episode. Exactly. Maybe I'm on five days in a row. Hopefully not, but probably. <laughs> he said, hopefully not. Hey, man, you never know. But the first thing that we're going to talk about since the sports podcast, we got to make our pick. You said what? It's shit worse than a nine to five. <laughs> yeah, <all right>. <laughs> <laughs> So the first thing, how do you think I feel? I got to edit this. Hey, man. This is going to be posted tomorrow. Oopsies. <laughs> <laughs> so we are now going to pick our picks for the awards this year in the NBA. Okay. So how it's going to go is we're going to go through MVP, Defensive Player of the Year, Rookie of the Year, Most Improved, Six Man, and then we're going to go into who we think will be in the finals. And we're going to pick who is the most likely winner and who is the least likely. Not the least likely, but like who's the sleeper pick, in your opinion. So for MVP, who do you think? i got to go with that white man in Dallas. I thought he was going to talk about the other white man in Denver. Nah, Jokic's not getting it four, 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 four times in a row. Or four. He's not getting his four. That'd be OD. Yeah, nah, he's not getting it. Four MVPs and he don't care for yeah, real? He really don't care. He, just he don't, don't care. He just, just want play with his horses. I know. So you think Luka? Luka. He's getting his first one. Is it Luka or Shea? I don't think anybody's winning other than those two. You don't think so? It's Luka or Shea. I think Luka too. I just think Luka. He just do for one. I just think either. I think Shea's team is too OD now for him to get it. Oh, really? His team is OD. 
Bro, Thunder OD. Bro. I heard they can get the number one overall pick also, yeah, like on some they cheese. Can. Yeah, they can. They got hella draft The Clippers picks. are freaking idiots. Yeah. Like, look at him now. Like, why not going to be back until freaking, like, January, December? James Harden running the show. Oh, it's going to be terrible. And they got a new arena, too. I didn't even know yeah, that. Yeah, that, that's what they should have just paid PG. Uh, I know, right? Yo, they got to pay for that arena, bro. Wow. No fair show up. They're not going to pay for that joint. So they're not in the Staples Center no more, right? Crypto. It's called Crypto? I oh. think so. No, not called Crypto. That's I the, don't know what it's called. That's what the Staples Center was called now. Is it? It's uh, called, yeah, it's called I don't, I don't know what it's called. But I, I also think Luca's going to win MVP. My sleeper pick. Who does it say? My the sleeper. Nick, my sleeper is probably Shea. Yeah, Shea. The the the, the Knicks fan of me gonna say Brunson, but it's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. But I, I'm only thinking sleeper is sleeper. I think a sleeper. I'll say. Uh, Imagine Wemby. That'd be od. Nah, that's, that's too much neck. <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe a sleeper be Ant. Ooh. Ant or JT. That'd be cool. Oh, J- Jason Tatum maybe. Yeah. But like he gonna have to average like thirty. I ain't gonna lie, like thirty eight and like he too corny six. though. Nobody gonna, nobody likes him. He's too corny. It's just that one thing. Nah, we nah. did it. That, it was more than that. We bro. did it. What he, they gonna say now? <laughs> if I didn't win, I guess they never know. <laughs> man, 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 man. All right, bro. Hey, yo, who, bro. who else you gonna quote? Did he next? <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. So the next one we got, we got defensive player of the year. We already know who's gonna be Victor Wet in your mama. I ain't gonna lie, that man gonna win that MVP for the next four or five years. That defense Before, player yeah. for the next four or five years, bro. This is a win. Be it's actually insane of how much he. If, if Wimby stays healthy, it's his. It's his to win. Sleeper, maybe Bam. Ooh, I like that one. Or Evan Mobley, that's a good sleeper for me. Mm-hmm. Or even uh, I, I don't even think it's a sleeper. But I think AD should have one. Oh no, he AD. needs to have one. But they did him me? dirty this I year, Loki. I don't think he gonna get one ever. Mm. Cause Wemby's here now. Oh yeah, no Wemby. Wemby. I feel like this last this last season that just happened was like his only shot for real. Yeah. Because honestly, I think the year Giannis won it. Uh, oh, the, he won it. He should have got it. I think. I think AD should have got it. Mm. AD is playing crazy defense out here. Dang, bro. I, what is it? Do you think it's just like? Cause I know it's players voting. And then, like, the coaches, coaches, right? Coaches, I think it's coaches. Mm. I don't know what it is. I don't know why AD won't get one, but I think he needs one for sure. Yeah, he needs one to solidify the career, but we'll see. I think he, that's a good sleeper, though, AD. I like that one. Next one, we got Rookie of the Year. Who do you think is going to win it? Matis Buzeles. From the Bulls? Yeah. You think so? I think Zach Levine gets traded this season. He needs to get traded. To and where? He, Denver. That'd, That'd be, be a, perfect. I know. They literally need him. Perfect. But what would they? What would Denver send? I don't know. They, bro, first of all, they they selling Dak Levine for fucking bag of chips. Bag of chips, bro. He yeah, just, I know. His contract is crazy. That's why nobody <laughs> want to trade for him. That is true. But like, they'll trade you anybody for him, bro. I'll give him. Gotta take that contract. I'll give him. You give him MPJ. Nah, hell no, no way, no, no. Bench players and draft picks. Bench players and draft picks. Mm-hmm. I'll give him Christian Braun. Brown, whatever. No, Not no, him? No, 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 no. How about no. the other dude, the light skinned dude? Jay, Jalen Schwather. Yeah, Schwather. Julian yeah, Strother. Yeah, yeah, get him out of here. Bye. Julian bye Strother. Bye uh, yeah, bye. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Gordon. No, you're bugging. That's No, you're tripping. You're tripping. You're tripping. He can't? You're no, tripping. but you got to give him something. Like no, you, you don't. Get, no, you don't. It's that low. Have you seen, did you see that Rudy Gobert trade? I know that's what messed up everything. Yeah. No, yeah, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they're going to be like, nah, we need more. You, you see, see what? the missile trade? I honestly, you, I don't have to give you shit. Honestly, you seen that cat trade? He no, literally. we gave up too much for cat. You think so? We gave up too much for cat, bro. I just think I think if Julius Randle didn't get hurt, we could have just did him, just swap both of them, and the first round pick yeah. would have been cool. I think if Julius Randle get hurt, like we make it to the conference finals and we see that we don't have to make no movements. Mm, that's true. But you know, that's true. Free my nigga Julius. He ain't, he ain't doing nothing wrong for real. I know he didn't do nothing wrong, bro. <laughs> I feel bad, bro. Free my nigga Dante too. Nah, I didn't think. I don't. I, I'm. I'm. I still hate the trade. I don't think we need him. I don't you don't think, think so? I think we need we, Randall. We way better with Randall, bro. He got that New York attitude of him. Cat, big purse. He's just. You feel me? He's a little kitty, bro. He is. But I think he's gonna grow. I think he's gonna grow into it, bro. Nah, I think he's it's bitch. either he's gonna. Have, have sink. you watched starting five? I can't do nothing. I can't do. <laughs> You're a grown man in the NBA. Bro. Yeah, bro. Was that when uh, when they were following around Anthony Edwards? Yeah, bro. Go ahead, bro. You're making millions of dollars, nigga. You think if I make a million dollars, I can't, I can't do nothing. 
still feel like nigga, I fouled out, nigga. Guess what? I got paid for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. I don't know. I think it's gonna be good, bro. Cause I think we're trying to match what Boston has. Nigga name is a little kitty, bro. Fuck out of here, bro. Hey, no, man. big purr, bro. The big, big cat. He's literally the big yeah, cat, bro. Like a little kitty, bro. Bro, that's what we he needed to change the scene, change the scenery, bro. Nah, no, he didn't. Bro, I see you didn't watch that game. He was oh first nine, bro. I did watch the game. I don't give a fuck. Second, I'm gonna keep hating until you prove me wrong. Cause I happened to every signing the Nick did. Brunson, I hated it. Randall, I hated it. Uh, OG hated it, mm. bro. You feel me? And you know it's crazy. Hardenstein got hurt. Oh really? Yeah, oh, I should sign back. <laughs> but every literally every Knicks move that we made, I hated it, and it turned out to be good. So I'm just keep hating. Yeah, keep it going, bro. Keep the streak going because we need it, bro. But I think I like those picks. I think Wemby is gonna win the Defensive Player of the Year award for the next four or five years, willingly. Like it's not even gonna be close. Yeah, they're not gonna, gonna give it to him though. Every four, they're not gonna give it to him like that. If they give it to Rudy Gobert, they gonna give it to him. Nah, bro. but he ain't winning in the row though. Like they broke it out. Oh, it's oh, out. you know it's gonna be it's gonna be Wemby, Wemby, Bam, Wemby. Nah, I feel like Bam it's gonna be somebody else that we don't even know of. Like somebody gonna come out at out of game. nowhere. JJ won, right? JJJ. Yeah, that was a random one. That was like twenty two. Yeah, that was when before that was before when Ja was good, good to go. What seed you think the Grizzlies gonna be this year? Third. Third. Mm, that's high. Really? Fifty games. You gonna win fifty games? Fifty games. I ain't gonna lie, I don't mind that because they do got a good role cast it, of people. Like, have you seen the, the Grizzlies last time before John got hurt, bro? He one of them ones, bro. Yeah, and like he, I got like, and we was talking about rookie of the year. I think freaking Zach Eady could probably win it, bro. Lowest the nah. keys, he has the best, like you know, he has the best chance. Not chance, but like best situation. I mean, that's not the like best situation, but. I don't think Alex Sar or the I don't I can't even tell you the number one picks in it. Zachary Richache? Yeah, whatever. I don't think they're not Alex Sar is garbage. Oh yeah, I know. He's so mad. He's booty juice. <laughs> yeah. Booty juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He smells like the bottom of my foot, bro. That nigga is bad, bro. <laughs> I, I don't you know what I can't trust these French players bro I don't know why they keep drafting first of, hold on don't say that cause we got a French nigga on our team right I now I know he don't look that, that bad that is hooping and the German nigga is hooping bro, bro. did he, you see that game where he banged on cuz well, no you, the, he banged on he got like four or five bang outs yo bro. that was OD he's cranking it on niggas bro. I was like yo I like what I see and he, like his body to body yes he, yes he on that rim yes bro Ooh. I'm and like, I seen cuz what's his name? And we got that white boy, that white boy. That, I already bro. knew he's gonna be nice. Where's he from? Where's he from? Marquette. Uh, nigga, Marquette. Bro, bro, now he got that dog in him, bro. Nigga, he dimes, bro. Bro, I knew he was nice because I remember he was freaking. He did an interview one time and he was like, he was saying like how they was in the zone. He's like, yeah, they, they, they had to get out the zone because shooting out the zone. And then from there, he was like, it was barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken. And then it was like, what does that mean? He was like, man, you can go look that up if you want to. And then it came with this whole mixtape. He was cooking it. Yo, that little, that white boy. Yo. You know what I see in them? I bye, see him like a better. Bye bye, bye Deuce. <laughs> nah, Deuce, bro. I'm telling you, Deuce gonna have a breakout year, bro. Mark my words. You can take, <laughs> you can take the shades off all you want, bro. Deuce is gonna have a breakout year this year. Nah. You know, it's in the pattern, bro. Bye bye, Deuce. Did you see the pattern? Nigga, white boy taking his minutes, bro. It's over. Bye bye, Deuce. No, Deuce played it too. Bye bye, Deuce. Nah. nah fuck Deuce, bro. <laughs> I'm saying I like the I like the bench though. Joe, did you see we like I'm sorry, we play we gotta talk about the Knicks real quick. You seen we freaking beat the Hornets with our bench team. Mm -hmm. That's OD. Oh, the Hornets trash, bro. What do you mean? But still though, they're not trash. The Hornets could be a playing team. Yeah. We a play we a contender. Bro. I know, but that's all I need to see. And you know I feel I feel bad for Landry Shamit, bro. Yeah, bro. That hurt my we heart. Cut him, bro. We yeah. had to cut him, bro. No, they had to. His, his contract wasn't guaranteed. Oh. So they had to cut him because he got hurt. And they couldn't. Oh, he got hurt? Yeah, he freaking dislocated his shoulder. That's why he got cut. He was supposed Damn. to, he was going to make the team and play. But he got hold the shoulder with a heel. I, I know, but it's like he didn't, he wasn't on like a guaranteed contract. Uh huh. So like they had to like either, they, I guess they had, they rather like sign somebody else. I need to sign like TJ Warren instead. No, they cut him too. Oh, they did? Yeah. <laughs> Dang, who were they signing there? Was it Marcus Morris? No, they cut him too. Dang. Who we got? I don't know. Hey. <laughs> they cut, they cut. We should sign Boogie, nigga. I think so too. I wouldn't mind that. Boogie or 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 Diddy White? I mean Diddy White? Oh, Diddy Howard? Diddy Howard. 
I don't know, I'll bro. I'll take the white, bro. You bugging. I said that. I, but, okay, I'll take... Just, you know, just I take hide bugging. it from Brunson, bro. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch Brunson, bro. Anybody else is up for grass, bro. Don't touch Brunson. <laughs> no, no, don't bro. touch OG, bro. You already look like you got touched, Nah, guys. first of all, don't touch OG. I think OG will fuck you up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> OG be walking around like you got touched. You don't speak or nothing. You don't speak. That's why you got to be careful about the quiet niggas, bro. I know, bro. He really, nah, he really look like Kawhi, bro. He, he, he like his demeanor. Cat, bro. He can touch cat. Nah, he can touch cat, bro. He's gonna make me more soft, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want him by cat. He can touch. Nah, nah I can't touch hard. He can't touch hard. You nah, 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 nah. Nah, who get who? There's no food for him. I told you, let him have cat, bro. Nah. Let him have you, you don't want you don't want make want to have McBride, bro. Nah, he could definitely have McBride. Fuck <laughs> McBride. <bro>. <laughs> <laughs> How about uh campaign? He can touch. He like a little rat though. I know he look ugly. Yeah, he ugly is. Shit, like a little bro. nose come out. Like oh, yeah, look like massive splinter. <laughs> he ugly as hell. Ugly as fuck. Nah, but I like I like what what the team's looking like, bro. He take Mikel. He can have Mikel. Bro. Nah, I was I was I was avoiding that, that. nigga. Shot ugly as shit. Too. What happened to why nigga? Why he want to be ass when he come to us, bro? <laughs> I know. Nigga, now he want to shoot some funky shit. Now he come to us, bro. Why you ain't shoot that <laughs> funky shit? In, some bullshit. Shoot that funky shit in Brooklyn, nigga. <laughs> In Phoenix, you yeah, that, that was shit. looking. <laughs> that shit is crazy. That nigga answered that. Oh, you think I changed your shot? I said, nah. Yo, guys look like a catapult. So he's from that bit like, yeah, what the like fuck Kevin that, Duckworth, bro? bro. That's OD. I ain't never seen that before, bro. But it better change when to see. I hope that's like a like a like a a placebo or something. Yeah, bro. They better not. That better not be a real thing, bro. I hope not. Hell no. But all right, who you who you think you're the most improved player is gonna be? I say even Evan Mobley. That's a good one. Or Jonathan Kaminga. I ain't gonna lie. Evan Mobley, he needs to be good. Yeah. Or it's it's over for cuz. I ain't gonna lie. He's just too complacent right now. He I know just, he just like, he need to, he he can he needs to take that leap. He like he a little soft. A, right? a leap needs to be taken. Like what like, he, I think he's at, he was averaging like sixteen and ten. He needs to average twenty he and needs twelve. Average twenty and twelve. Dude. Ten and twelve, bro. Twenty and twelve, three two, blocks. Three blocks, two and a half blocks. That's what two and, assists. That literally, I don't know what it is. I, I maybe it's the jump shot. I don't know what he need. To, he need to take this leap this season. This he, season needs to be a leap. Mm-hmm. Because what is a year four and right now? Maybe more. No, 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 no. Yeah, it is year year four. Year four because they came in twenty one. So he needs honestly, to take, he came. Yeah, he came a year before Mitchell. Mm-hmm. Yep, a year or two before Mitchell. So he had honestly. I feel like if he don't take that jump and the Cavs are still where they are, they're gonna break it up. Yeah, he needs to take a, a big ass leap, and they're just gonna and probably Garland build needs him. to go. Garland can't play with, with with Mitchell. You don't think so? Nah, they can't make it work. Why not? They just too they, little. They, no, they too. First of all, Mitchell's way too ball dominant. That and and Garland needs the ball in his hands. That is true. So, what do you think the Cavs would need? Like, what type of player do you think they need? They need to. They either need. They need. To, they need to slide. Spider to the one and get a solid two guard. You think so? I don't even think he could. Spider could facilitate like that though. Nah, I think he he's. Can. He averaged like seven assists last year. Or six oh, he did. Oh, okay. Or six point th- six point five. Oh, that's something. pretty good though. I ain't gonna lie. That's actually. Tight but like, decent. he can't have a point guard though. Like, cause like, he has the ball too much. You know, but he can't have a a scoring guard. He can. They can get like but a guy. Garland can score. Garland can pass too. But like, I can't get my shit off if you got the ball all the time. But they can run sets. You know. Yeah, but like if I get another passing guard, it defeats the purpose. You I, you can't pass me the ball if I have the ball. That's true, but it's like he's not gonna always have the ball. But I feel like I he feel like always they, has the ball now. I feel like it didn't work. It's go, go, because my bad. You say what you say. I just feel like it didn't work because they're too small. They're too small. Like that's that's too mm-hmm. small of a backcourt, especially nowadays. Like you need some height on you. Like you see freaking niggas that's like six 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 eight. Running the but point Garland and shit like that. Garland was an all star a couple years ago. No, I don't know what the freak happened. I do know what happened. They got Donovan Mitchell, bro. So he's just not used to the. You know what it is? Also, he's probably not. He's not good off the ball. That's what it might be. That's what I'm saying. Like he need. Like I don't. I don't. I don't know. He need a shooter at the at the two, bro. Yeah. Somebody that could just. I, I'm do my thing. Or you open, mm. like, knock it down, fire. Yeah. Uh, he needs to run the one. That is true. We'll see. I don't. I still don't know about the one though because I think that's the same thing what the Suns did with Devin Booker. Or and he that didn't like work. A, nah, nah. Donovan Mitchell was more of a natural one than. than really, Devin you think so? Yeah, he basically basically ran the one in Utah. Like, yeah, he was. He uh, really is the one for. He's first of all, he's six one. He is short as hell. I be forget he's short. And he's stocky. not tall at all. Yeah, he's no, six one. He's so. just mad short. But I mean, when they had okay, how about if they had a point guard like Mike Conley? Because that's what he had in Utah. Nah, that's a vet though. Like, like. Like, yeah, but 
Like if they had like a Tyus Jones. Like a like a quickly. Nah, Tyus Jones need like, like I said, how how am I gonna get an assist and facilitate if I don't have the ball? But you a, also need a table setter though. They need a quickly, like a I'm aim like a IQ, a manual quickly. Like you need like this is what I think, right? I think they need somebody that I think Darius Garland could do it, but I just think he had a down year. No, he needs the ball, bro. He doesn't have the but ball. But you still need somebody to table That's set what I'm saying. Like for... A, like a quickly. Like a, Isaiah quickly is perfect. If I give you the ball, you get a bucket. If yeah. you don't have the ball, you're going to get open. If you if, if you need the playmate, you're a playmate. Oh, uh, so you think... Like, like D- Darius Garland, Gar- Garland, I need the ball in my hand, bro. Like, I can't not... Play off ball with you. I have to have the ball. Mm. Quickly could play off ball. Yeah. Could play on ball. That is true. You okay. Know, like, yeah. Like Garland, like, nah, Garland needs to rock. That's true. That's true. Because I, I realized it's like, I, I actually watched the, I went to a Cavs and Magic game when I went to Florida last year mm. and I seen him. And it's just, uh, Darius Garland was going crazy. Though. I ain't gonna lie. He had like 30. But it's just the fact that. That's crazy because Magic played good defense. I know. I don't know what the hell's going on. Freaking, I also think the spacing is kind of freaking piss poor. Because Darius Garland really is more of a like I think he's he can shoot pull ups, mm-hmm. but he's he's more of like I think he's better going to the rim. Yeah. But you got freaking Evan Mobley and then you got Jared Allen. That's what I said. Evan Mobley needs to have a jump shot this season. I know. At least at least 35, 35, 36 to keep him honest. Just shoot the corners. Cause you you cause Jared Allen can't shoot for fucking shit. He's never gonna be able to shoot. So like I said, you can't have two niggas just like, hey. Just big dummies. Uh, yeah, big dad stupid niggas. Like, can't shoot the ball. <laughs> but I don't understand. Y'all is getting paid millions of dollars to poop. Why saying. can't you why make a shot? Not in the gym? Every day. What are you doing that you that why don't you have a jump shot? You get paid to play basketball. Why don't you have a jump shot? I don't understand that. I don't know how these guys it has to be a mental thing. It gotta be mentally. No, you play basketball, bro. You get paid to play basketball. Still though. I just like, it gotta you've been be playing basketball your whole life, bro. Why can't you shoot a jump shot? It gotta be mental, bro. Like if I got paid to play basketball, I'd be I'm be the greatest ever. Hey, nah, for real. Like, just imagine every day you wake like up. I'm saying, like, I get the I get the hoop. That's all I gotta do is hoop. Yeah, and you get paid for it, bro. It's crazy. I, I, I gotta get better at hoops. Yeah. Nigga, like, what? These people they take it for granted, bro. They you know what it is? They just be go. They you know what I realize also like in the NBA or like in in sports in general, they really just it's like college forever. Like after the game, they all go to the club. They wake up next morning, no practice. Practice next day, next game. Go to the club afterwards. Maybe go to the club before the game. Yeah. I'm like, damn, like I don't do nothing. Like college make- without the work. Yeah, there you go. College without the school work, mm-hmm. literally, and with millions of dollars. Yeah, I don't got past no classes. It's crazy. Work. And I get paid. That's crazy work, bro. But y'all need to get in the- Evan Mo. You need to get in the gym. But ben I think Simmons, your bum ass need to get. All right, we're not talking about him right now. My bad. I think he's gonna be. No, he's not. He's fucking trash. I believe in Ben Simmons. Gar- Garbicio. I bet. For, I think Fran, Franz Wagner will be most improved most improved player. And my sneaky pick is Ben Simmons. I'm saying that right now, bro. How are you going to be most improved? He's already an all-star. You can't, you know. Is there, a, there should be a bounce back player of the year. Comeback player of the year. I think it should be a comeback player of the year. Is that a thing? That's that's football. That's football. They should have that in basketball. They should have put that instead of the clutch player. They wanted it to be different. No, I like clutch player. They could, they could add another reward. Like, I comeback player. I ain't going to lie. They should. They. I mean, they, they. That could be. It. That should be it. That should be. It. That should be a thing. Like I feel like that. I feel like in most sports, that should be a thing. Like baseball too, like especially nowadays in the NBA, they've been adding so much new stuff. It's not even funny. Come play with you. Come, play with you. come on, NBA, hit us up, bro. We 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 already know what we're talking about. Uh, what else is there? What else we got? Uh, so we, I think we have Coach six minutes. Coach, oh my God, Coach Player of the Year. I know you don't have it on the list. Coach Player of the Year, I think it's gonna be Darren Fox and Coach of the Year. I think it's gonna be the Thunder coach. Now nah, let's go into it. Cool, cool. Six Man of the Year. I. Who do you think? I want to say Malik Monk, just because he's been in the running in second place for too long and hasn't yeah. got it. I think they're gonna give him one. Yeah, but he has to hoop again. You feel me? Like, what was the reason why he didn't get it last year? Was it because he didn't Nas play enough? Reed went so stupid. That's I know why. he was. Going That's crazy. the reason why DiVincenzo didn't get it last year. I he, thought he didn't get it because he didn't qualify. Yeah, he didn't qualify because he played like nine games, like or nine seconds, nine seconds late. Like he didn't qualify for not. Like, what is it? Seconds. You have to have sixty-five games or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something about it was something about nine seconds that he didn't get that he didn't qualify. Wow, you think he would have got over? No, nah, no, he was, still wasn't getting it. I don't think so either. Cause I think he started too many games. I don't know about that, but it, he wasn't getting it recalled. Nas yeah. Reed went so stupid. Like, I know. My sleeper though, Westbrook. Westbrook, you think so? I think you if know Westbrook hoops in Denver. 
Westbrook averaged 15 and 15 and 8, 15 and 7, 15 and 6. Mm-hmm. That would be cool. 15, 15, 7 and 7. You know what I've seen? MVP. I mean, six man. They're using him a lot differently. They're than, using him like Thunder. Like, go, go hoop, bro. Yeah, no, that, you know, they're at, they're making him, they're making him, they're playing like a big man. Who? Uh, Westbrook? Yeah, they, like, they're having Jokic, like, bring the ball up, and then mm-hmm. Westbrook is setting the screen and rolling off. But, oh, yeah, I did see that, too. Because I seen uh, Jokic do him a lot. Yeah. But, like, when Jokic is not in, no, they're letting him Oh, go yeah, ahead. he's going. Go ahead, bro. And, like, he's running the floor. He's getting easy buckets. So, I could see that happening. Go, go, hoop, bro. He's throwing dimes. Like, mm-hmm. he can do a lot to DeAndre Jordan. DeAndre Jordan's, like, 80, bro. I know. Throwing lobs to DeAndre Jordan. That's crazy work. That man is really old as dirt, bro. I think he's going to have a good year. I think he's he can help him win, but they need just... He just... He needs to shoot like 35% from three at least. 35, 36. Yeah. Catch and shoot. That's it. Just get the corners right, bro. Stay, you don't got to go to the rivers and lakes where, like Steph Curry, bro. Just stick to the streams, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, just stick to hug, them corners. Hug that line, bro. Hug the line like you could imagine. Like, make him call that too, mm-hmm. bro. Like, it's crazy. I think Miles McBride could win six man of the year. I'm calling it right now. Corey's going to hate that. He's looking at me crazy. I can't see his eyes, but I Miles like, McBride. I like <laughs> Miles McBride, six man of the year. I'm telling you, it's all in the plan, bro. When we got Manuel quickly, First he of all, we, he not winning six man of the year because Brunson is too old. What that mean? When he the second unit, he gonna be the main scorer. Yeah, he, has he can. I think Miles McBride could average twelve to fourteen points off the bench. Nah, yeah, that's probably- easy. 12, 14, 15 points off the bench. Cause you know why? Wait, did IQ ever win oh, the? Oh, Divincenzo. He coming off the bench. Oh, yeah, he is coming off the bench. Oh, shoot. He's I forgot. starting over Ant. <laughs> I seen him run the one. That's why. I forgot. He might. Oh, he might actually go crazy. That's a good one. He got a point to prove now. Oh, too. yeah. He hell yeah. Shit. Hell yeah. Be, Chenzo might win it. That's a good one. He could probably average 15. He was going stupid in preseason. Mm-hmm. I can see that happening. I just think Miles McBride, right? I just think. Did Quickly ever win six man of the year? He was supposed to, though. He was in the running. I think he was in the running when, like, last year. No, and then we traded him. No, the year before that. Really? Yeah. Oh, wait, he, I think he went. He went runner up mm-hmm. because I think when he when we traded him to Toronto, he stopped like he, he started starting. He started starting, so he didn't. But beat. not last year. It was he wasn't in the running last year. He wasn't playing good last year before he got traded. Really? The year before that, he was in the running. Mm. He was like he was like number three or two or three. Okay. But I just think Miles McBride, right? Emmanuel quickly was doing well. We traded him. Dante DiVincenzo started doing well filling the space. Now we trade Dante Di- DiVincenzo. Missing now we it's your t- options. Bro, he shoots 40% from three. Get ass, bro. Did you see him? I watched him play a preseason game against, was it the Hornets? Yeah, he was going stupid. We played the Hornets three times this year. Yeah, no, it was OD. The fuck? I don't but know. He was, no. And we played the Wizards so twice. You probably, so you probably you probably watched the game where he did where, where he went stupid. I watched the game where he went over. Over what? Now he probably, I, I seen him make two jump shots. I don't know what he ended up with. <laughs> oh, I said, yo, nigga. He kept shooting. I'm like, my nigga. Bro. Just pass the cheese, bro. He's going to be great, bro. Watch. Boy, Y'all hearing it here right now on this yeah, podcast. Yeah, hearing it here too that he's going to be ass. I don't think so. But last thing we're going to predict, who do you think is going to be in the finals? Who do you think is going to and what is the sleeper pick? I want to say Knicks. Knicks in uh, Dallas. That's a good one. Brunson versus his old team. Knicks in Dallas. And you know the NBA rig, so they might ha- let that happen. Mm-hmm. But it might like it might be Boston and uh and OKC. Those are the teams that beat all yeah. Boston and OKC. OKC got every hole. Like they like they kind of they kind of did what Boston did where they have like every hole filled. Yeah. They got the crazy they got a crazy big or yeah. or forward. I don't know where they play in uh chat at. Yeah. And they got a decent big that could just Pass and get Pass rebounds. And get rebounds. Spread the floor about a little bit. You got a little midi now. Yeah. They got the 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 two lockdowns at like Caruso and and Dort. He Dort not even gonna start. Yeah, but they're gonna, they, they, they're gonna make they're gonna put them in defensive matchups. Yeah, I know. Where is where, where they're gonna put them in lineups where it's them two. They're gonna put niggas in hell. And then they got Shea averaging got thirty. Shea and people forget Shea get play defense. Yeah. He averaged like two steals a game. Well, that doesn't mean you play defense. Okay, well but he's he's not Allen Iverson yeah. with it. He actually see six six. He was actually be sitting down playing defense, but and he don't then, got to for real. And then we got J Dub. Mm-hmm. He's probably gonna average like twenty this year. Yeah, he got. He's due for a big one. And then we got another J Dub or, or what, what's the other one name? J, well, J Will. J Will. He's getting better. And then you got another defender, Casey Wallace, 
who be and he just yo I ain't gonna lie if he was on like he could he could be Logie's six man of the year if he go crazy but he don't need to he he's just gonna get stops and just make threes because he was shooting like forty two percent as a na- rookie he got bro the nasty haircut bro he gotta get rid of that what that were you talking about the the braids nah the, he, the got dread? The, he got the little patch in the back bro like, like, like stupid bro he got like the he got like the fade that's not curl. that's not then, that's not who like, I'm talking about call- that's Kenrich Williams who you talking about Case and Wallace the dude with the that went to Kentucky I don't know who the fuck this nigga talking about oh you don't know oh, Case- got the, with the dreads yeah with the dreads. Oh yeah, I know he's always. He about. nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know much about him. I nah, know who he is though. Nah, he od. Uh, like he actually like like he's, he's probably a rookie? yeah he was a rookie last year, but he was locking up like guys last year. Like he was locking up Luca in the playoffs. But uh, I don't know much about you. I gotta study. Uh, I gotta do homework. I just th- I think they probably they got the best team in the league. I'm not gonna lie, they, they got do, the best team in the league. Do. There's nobody. And that's but they going made like they 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 modeled it after the Celtics though. The Celtics. Yeah. So we'll, it might be Celtics and and uh. Okay, see, but man. I think they could stop the Celtics. They can honestly beat the Celtics because yeah, they got probably not going to do it. They pro- it's not it's probably not going to beat them though. You don't think so? I could see like, I could see like, I don't know. I don't think I don't think Minnesota made the right move for trading for Randall. I don't think I don't think Cat makes us better. Randall doesn't make them better, but yeah. we would have been better with with Randall. I get what you mean. Like you know, like better saying? off. Yeah, we would have been better off with Randall. Yeah, but Cat makes our team better because it's like. The e- it's like an ego going. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's like a like a, a, a elephant that left the room. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like who's gonna be the one? Like you know. Like, now you already know. Yeah, I right, it's Brunson's team. Cat yep. fall in line. Yep. Rather, yep. but I feel like Randall like was good for us, but Randall doesn't fit Minnesota. So what do you think the like what do you think the Knicks record is gonna be this year? Like how do you think everything is gonna went, go with the Knicks? Like fifty two games. Fifty two games. What seed? Second. Second seed. Boston number one. I don't, honestly, I think we can low key sneak that number one. We might can because we're D, bro, because D, because Porzingis is not coming back till. I th- forgot about that. Yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah, Porzingis is hurt. He hurt. He not he, coming back till like January. Won his ring. He said, "Yeah, I'm good." I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't be mad either, bro. I'm like, let me take this surgery. Like, I'm yeah, all good. I got good. my shit, bro. I, I ain't got wanna, my. I don't want to be in Boston for real. for real, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm. I already got all I needed, bro. But I think we can low key sneak that number one spot, especially we have we literally have the team that could guard mm-hmm. them. Of course, we got Cat because honestly, Cat gonna hold it down a little bit, but he don't need to be crazy. If Mitchell Robinson comes back crazy because I'm not gonna lie, he probably won't. But I think so because I like I seen him last year before he got hurt. He wasn't doing like he was moving pretty well because you nah, know he I, was and he got bigger too. I know because you remember before like he got mm-hmm. like like uh like a couple years ago more maybe like last year like when he walked he just looked so slow and sloppy mm-hmm. that shit used to piss me off yeah. like he used to look like like his like he had something up his ass or some shit like just like walking around like like groggy everywhere not sprinting but like you remember when he first came in mm-hmm. and he was just jumping out the gym. But he yeah. said he had to put on weight to guard like Embiid and all them. Yeah, I mean, I, which I makes sense, that. I guess it. But if he comes back to at least maybe ninety percent, if he comes back at how he started last year, oh, we're good. He started last year on some like, oh, hold on, he could win deep boy. Oh yeah, but he was leading the league in offensive rebounds. Yeah, he averaged like six too. a game, uh, somewhere up there. He was like two something, but that was still a lot. He though. was bugging, and then he got hurt. <sighs> Why Embiid had to do that, bro? Why he do that for? Nah, like beating Howard, like I'll like, I'll never like them again, bro. Just because of this last playoff run, bro. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. When we go to Philly, we got beat up on them, bro. I can't believe. It. I hate Howie, bro. And then Paul, well, in freaking Philly, Paul, Paul George. George. Hurt. Yeah, no, hyper extended knee, right? Yeah, that's what y'all get, bro. That's what y'all get. Paul George, you baited. You you a hoe. You should have went to the Warriors. You think so? Yeah, bro. Go go play with Steph. Why you want to play with him? Beat for it. I don't know why he chose them either. Maybe they was offering more money. Oh, they offered him crazy. They offered him a bag. So I mean, I'll, I'll go too. Shoot, I'm no. out there, easy, easy no, with it. You're already a millionaire, nigga. Go, go, go play with Steph. I know, and he a West Coast kid too. He don't even like the cold. Yeah, you stay in L. A. Like, feel me, go stay in Cali, bro. Go play with them. Now you in the trenches, bro. And we gonna really show you what the trenches is like, bro. We play out. It's over. I'm beating, I'm beating up on OG. About to lock his ass up, bro. OG. OG and Mikael Bridges ain't gonna take turns on your ass. Pause. No pause, actually. Not pausing none of that. I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. Come on, bro. Nixon, Nixon five, bro. You know, I ain't gotta t- say too much. But I got I got a couple games we can play, Corey, as we go along this podcast. 
So you could, you could just tweet. I had to, bro. I'm I'm hyped, bro. You got, you got horny over here. I tell you, the diddler over here. <laughs> hey, yo, season starting, but we gotta get hype. But I have a blind ranking for you. So it's mm-hmm. blind ranking these NBA big threes. Okay. So the first big three that we have is our Knicks. Mm-hmm. So that's Mikael Bridges. Is it current? Yep. What what the big three is right now? So I'm saying, like, is it current NBA? Like, you're not yeah, going, current NBA. You're not going to throw Mike. No, 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 no. It's the current NBA right now. All right. So it's Jalen Brunson, Cat, and Mikael Bridges. Where would we rank that at? Not based on, like, individually they're nice, but, like, how it, you can do it, like, say, all together, like, all I'll around. Say, I'll say three. Cause, three? Because you, you might throw in two more that I think are better. Mm-hmm. Now nah, I'm going to say two. 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 Because I'm saying, bro, like, they really work. Not, they compliment. You're not, you're, not, you're, not gonna, you're not going to do what I think you're going to do. Okay. Let's see. Uh, for so next one we have the Bucks. So that includes Damian Lillard, and Chris Giannis, Milton? and Chris Milton. Five. Five. Chris Milton's not it. Wow. Dame, if you said duo, duo's number like maybe one or two. Mm. But Chris Milton drops it that low. That low, bro. Jeez. Oh my gosh. I'll say four to be safe. I'll say four to be safe. But like, okay, they're mid. Okay. Now we have the Sixers. Mm. We got Tyrese Maxey, Paul George, three. and Joel Embiid. Three? That's a, that's a cool three. Cool three. Okay. Now, next one we have is the Suns. So, we got Devin Booker, KD, and Bradley Bill. Five. Five? Wow. Why five? They ain't got no point guard, bro. I mean, it's just them three. Yeah, nah. Still five, right? Still five? They're both. First, Bill and Book, two ball-dominant guards. I think Bradley Bill going to have a big bounce-back year this year. And what you call it, KD is always going to be KD, but like, nah, that's a five. I think th- they're I, not a good trio. They're not a good trio. You don't think so? Nah. You think they stretched it with that? They just, it was like box office, just like to sell some tickets. Let's get a name. We need a we need a big name. Yeah. We need a, we need an all star. Okay. But I might have I might have messed up because I don't know who you, who the last one going to be. So, you, but you're gonna put it at five though. Yeah, I'm just keeping my five. Still. All right. So so far, so at number five you have the Phoenix Suns. At number four you have the Milwaukee Bucks. At number three, you have the 76ers. I, I should have kept I should have kept Milwaukee at, at, at five. I think they're better than Milwaukee. Really? Yeah. Because Chris Milton's that ass. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> but. And you have the New York Knicks at two. Mm-hmm. So that means at number one spot, you have the Dallas Mavericks. I'm not too mad at that. With, I'm mad at that. I, I should I would I would put the number two. With Clay, Luca, and Kyrie. I'll put them number two. I like it though. That's cool. So how would you rearrange it if you I could? would rearrange it? I'll put Knicks at one. Okay, I like that. Uh Dallas at wait, who was the Sixers were three you put. On paper, that junk is might be one. Yeah, I put six no, nah, I put I might put Knicks at one still. Yeah. Sixers at two. Yeah. Dallas at three. Okay. Um Phoenix at four. Okay. And Milwaukee at five. I think that's cool. If I could rearrange it. I think that's cool. So what what team do you think is not going to reach their expectations? Denver. You don't think so? I don't think so either. I don't think they make they ain't, unless they make a move, they gotta make a move. Yeah. They ain't make no moves. LA. LA ain't make no moves. Clippers? Both of them, to be honest, both of them did. Yeah. Both of them did did bad. Warriors. Warriors they make they ain't, they ain't do no they didn't trade Larry Marketing because they wanted to keep pods. <laughs> they Come think on, bro. they think he's gonna have a big year. He might win. He might win Most Improved Player next year. Fuck P- Podzinski. Fuck him. Get Laurie Market in, bro. I'm thinking that they okay. I Did think they, they not learn anything. I think they want to compete, but I don't think they're wanting to win a championship. I think they're just right, waiting. Trace stuff. Trace stuff. Trace stuff. Then they're not gonna trace stuff. Trace thirty six, bro. No, no. No, like, like we we wasting this, we wasting this, these good years, bro. Come on, what are we doing then? <laughs> they just they're trying to make the best team around Steph, but also to preserve the youth so they can when Steph does go, they they're still they're still a foundation. So let him go, let, let him walk, bro. Let him walk. I don't know, bro. Let him and Draymond walk. Let let Draymond play with his daddy, <laughs> and and let Steph go play he somewhere said else with his daddy. <laughs> you didn't see that? I got that king in me tonight. Bro. Nah, they good. He Draymond's said late. Bugging. He said late night. You know I got that king in me. Draymond's crazy, bro. What's good with it? You know he's famous, right? Like he I don't, know he don't, don't got to do that. I know he could have got the deal also. 
Yeah, he's bugging, bro. And he don't. He's probably drunk saying that, so he mm-hmm, is yeah. low key kind of mookie for that. You know, Dr- Dr- Diddy. Dr- nah, he might. Yo, you know James Diddy. James Diddy. Harden Diddy. Why how he? Di- oh, why he Diddy? I don't know. He Can bro. You, you, you partying too hard? Nah, nah. I, bro, I've been seeing some videos of him. He was he was with a video of some Spanish dude. I think he was like a famous rapper or something. And Harden would look like he was whispering in his ear, like he was like, "Yo, get in the car, I'm about to like, I'm like um, some chill, freaky stuff." Chill, Harden, gonna be in there. You gonna be in Taiwan with the white? Better stop it, I, bro. I, but I, I knew it was yo. Remember that video of James Harden walking out with a yeah. That look weird, bro. He said, it's about to get serious. I said, oh nah, that's weird. That looked weird. I like, I didn't like that. Let me see if I can find that video. He said, "Ooh, I'm dangerous." That <laughs> look, that looked too weird, bro. I didn't like that at all. He said, "I'm dangerous." Ooh. I just think I don't like. I don't know, but we ain't gonna get into them politics, people. But I don't know. So, what team do you think is gonna exceed expectations that they? That I think people- Thunder gonna exceed. I think. I think people sleeping on Clay, especially because he had a bad game the other night. But I feel like with Luca and Kyrie, bro, all you gotta do is shoot, bro. No, I, I, I think I think I think they just make just make that shot, bro. I think uh I think New Orleans, mm. New Orleans. If Zion just stays healthy, New mm-hmm. Orleans, you see expectations. I think Houston has a good year this year. Ooh, I was just about to say Houston, Houston bro. Um, they got a good team, bro. Bro, they they literally they literally have the problem where they have too many young players mm-hmm. that are really good and they don't know what to like. They yeah. they need to make a decision. Yeah. Who are you gonna build around? Is it gonna be Jalen Green? Is it gonna be Alperen Sangoon? I think it's uh, nah. I don't think I don't, I don't. I think they should trade Sangoon. Really? For nah, I might be stupid. Actually, that's why I'm not a GM. Uh, but, nah. Like I feel like, or maybe not trade Sangoon. Maybe trade Jalen Green uh-huh. for like somebody that's like not a chuck. You know, like somebody that, that don't gotta put shots up all the time. You know. Mm, Donovan Mitchell. Nah, nah, nah. Might as well keep Jalen Green. <laughs> uh-huh. you, but you need it. You, I would tr- like if you trading Jalen Green. You, I, w- I would want like a player that's gonna help me win right now. Yeah, but like not not, not Spider. You might as well just keep Jalen Green for that. That's what I'm saying. I, I think, think, but Jalen Green ended the year really strong. So, I'm feel me. Let's see what he do this year. Yeah, he ended the year really strong last year. That's what I'm saying. I feel like we're in that. They could keep that duo. They don't need. To, they don't need. They don't need to. They don't need to break up that duo yet. They're I think they young. need to get rid of the old guys though. Start, start like at least start weeding them out like Fred Van Fleet and Dylan Ooh. Brooks. Like I think they need to start getting weeded nah, out. Bro. I think Brooks could stay as long as they don't as long as they don't have a young guy to take his place. Like Re, like Shepard Reed Shepard's not taking Dylan Brooks' place. He's ta- he's he's But Cam Whitmore need to play, bro. He do, but I think yeah, Brooks could go. Just cause I think Brooks needs to be on a I think he's a contender type player. Like he, yeah. he's one of those like, oh, he's like a Ron, like a Ron Artest. He'll be fired on the Nuggets, low key. Uh, nah. What team? Yeah, is- yeah, nah. Nuggets will be fired, actually. Hell yeah. Need some toughness in some, there. Some, somebody that played D, he open threes, bro. Yeah, literally. That's all you need. That's all you need, bro. Like, for me, he could be on any contender. He'd be good on the Lakers, but, like, obviously not with him and Braun. You yeah, know. Uh, be good on the on the Sixers. Move move Paul George up to the two or put him at the two. Yeah, that's like he'd true. Be, I think he's he's good on. He's a great. He's bro. He's not a bad player. He just the jokes went out of hand. Oh yeah, no, he was wilding. He he like he'll be a great. He'll be a great fit fit on most teams. Mm-hmm. I just think, especially they got a lot of like they you can remember you got Amen Thompson mm-hmm. and you got Reed Shepard. These two guards they need to play. Yeah, but Amen's not good to be the number one right now. I know he's not gonna be the number. I I think Reed Shepard gonna pass him at number one. They go put Amen in like the three or something like that. He's gonna be like the if he can't if he can if he gets a jump shot he shoot he needs to shoot thirty seven percent. What happened? Niggas to start got to get to the league and just can't shoot no more, bro. Bro, first of all, it's them freaking overtime kids. They don't put no goddamn work. You need to get to you know jump shot up, cause he like damn can't shoot either. Yeah, y'all just shit's just broken. Like what the hell? Asar can't shoot. Yeah, no. He's worse though, like his. Just, yeah. I mean, but he was in the overtime. He was a better shooter than his brother. I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't know. They get nervous with them bright lights, bro. But I think I, I was also gonna say the Rockets is gonna exceed expectations. I think they can make it like the eighth seed, low key. I could see that eighth seed, highest seventh, lowest like ten. ten. Like play, they could be. Obviously, they're gonna be in the play. They're gonna year. be in the play this year. I believe. I believe. That. I was gonna say Charlotte. If they're healthy, Bre- Charlotte. If they're healthy, Brandon Miller, OD. I ain't gonna lie. Brandon Miller's OD. 
Lamelo is OD. He needs to pl- he needs to play yeah, though. Twenty seven days, nigga. Twenty seven nights. nights. He start he start rapping. He, he retired from rapping. So he needs to because he needs to lock it. in. He's OD, bro. I know. He just need to he just need to, to beat the beat beat the alleys, bro. <laughs> I think he did. Nah, he didn't, but he's he, he's guilty on all charges. Oh yeah, I know. He should but be. But like he just need, you know what Tiger Woods, you know what Tiger Woods first got that out like film he got in trouble. It was like a little, like a little, like like smack on the hand. Not a smack on the hand, but it just it's t- it's, it's it tinted his 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 game a little bit. It was yeah. just like too much. It was too much like media pressure, negative attention on him. Yeah, Oops. yeah, yeah. There you go. I think he like for me, he needs to get over that little hump where it's like, all right, but go back to hooping now. Yeah, not think about it too much. That's true. I like that. I just think they're just and Trey like, Man also is pretty good. I like Trey, Trey Man. I like I like Trey. I Mann. just think they just need to stay healthy, and I think they'll the sky's the limit for them. But the next segment I got for you, Core, is we're gonna be reacting to some of y'all hot takes for the NBA season. So I put a poll up this week, and we're gonna be doing a lot of polls for the podcast. So stay tuned. Make sure y'all follow us on Instagram at NoRegs.podcast. And I told y'all to give us some of y'all some of the hottest some of y'all hot. NBA takes for this upcoming season. So we're going to react to that right now if I could find it. Um, before I find that, um, tune into this commercial real quick. We'll be right back. Uh, yeah. Prize Picks is probably one of the most fun and exciting sports fantasy apps on the market right now. I was able to win 10 times the amount of money that I put in. Prize Picks is very simple to use. All I got to do was find my players, make my picks, submit my entries, less than 60 seconds, and I'm good to go. Whether you're a tryhard or you're just a person that loves watching sports, you can turn $1,000 into $10,000 with a click of a button. And as of July 31st, PrizePix is now offering a new promotion for new users on the app. If you use our code NOREGULARS as sign up and you place $5 in for any picks or entries that you want, you will get $50 deposited into your account immediately. Use code NOREGULARS, that's N-O-R-G-U-L-A-R-S, at sign up and place $5 in for your first entry and you will get $50 back instantly, people. That's N-O-R-G-U-L-A-R-S at sign up. Code no regulars. Shout out to Prize Picks. Let's get back to the podcast, baby. Gangsta. And we're back. So, and we are back. Corey, I have a couple of these hot takes and we're just going to react to them. So the first hot take is Bronny is ass. Come on, Corey. You seen that last game he had? He had 17 points. They lost by 50. It was that bad? I didn't see the score of the game. I just see him get buckets. I see him get buckets. He lost by 50. He shot 41% from the field, bro. No, he didn't. Yes, he did, bro. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Come on, Corey. He ain't ass. They lost by 50, bro. He played like 35 minutes. He chucked up shots. But he's also 19, 18 years old. He's garbage. What do you expect him to be? What do you what do you want to, what is what do you expect his stats to be? Fucking D two. That's what he needs to be. Fucking no, D2 no, no, no. He's not a D two yes, player. He is, bro. He is not a D two. He's player. fucking garbage, bro. <laughs> like, yeah. You, like, if you watch him play, first of all, he's lazy. He doesn't run the floor. He doesn't have any basketball fucking knowledge of what to do on a fucking basketball. Bro, court. his dad is he's he has to get used to it, bro. No, he does not. You've been playing basketball your whole fucking life. This is this is high school that he doesn't know. He doesn't know if I cut it opens up a shooter. He doesn't know if I drive and a big steps up. Instead of going up and gets a seven footer, I drop it off. I think we're just a little hard on him. No, I don't he think sucks. No, I don't think he sucks. He I don't sucks, sucks. Darius. You're There's better lot, than him. No, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I yo, Killian Hayes sucks. Freaking is better than Brian. Fra- Facts. Frank Nilakina sucks. Killian Hay- can, Frank Nilakina is better than Brian. No, he's not. Frank right Nilakina is freaking Facts. ass. No, he's not. Fra- Frank Nilakina no, is don't- ass. No, he is ass. <laughs> Kevin Knox is ass. Better than Bronny. Right no, he's now. not. Kevin better Knox is horrible. Right now. Kevin Knox better is garbage. Bronny right now. That man is hot garbage. Better than Bronny. Cause, Freaking cause Alex bro- Shved is ass. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> he played on the Knicks. He was number one. I'm just naming people that used to play for the Knicks. That's, That's how ass right. we were. He's better than Bronny. Bronny is not good. What's that dude that dunked on Giannis and stepped over him that played on the Knicks? What was his name? Nate Robinson? No, no, no. Uh, Spanish dude. Oh, Mario Hezonia? Mario Hezonia, ass. Better than Bronny? He's not better than... Bro. Bro, Bronny's not good. Stop saying that these, these niggas that, that got minutes in, on NBA teams. We are, we are just... Okay, I understand. Bronny is not have the best. Did not have the best summer league. Did not have the best preseason. But did you gotta understand, he is the fifty he had the best high school career. That 
Like, like he's not good, bro. But you have to realize he is the fifty fifth overall pick. They he are putting the light on him like he's the he number one pick. It's not his drafted. fault. He should have been drafted. But yo, I, the, no. We, okay, I of course he shouldn't have been drafted. I get drafted. the lore. Yeah, I love it. The picture of him and Bronny shaking, him and Bron shaking hands. It says James Junior. Oh my God, the greatest picture I've ever, bro. This shit was hard. Yeah, I get the nepo, nepotism. I get it. He's garbage, bro. KD blocked his. Sh- oh no, not even. KD almost blocked his shot the other day, and it went viral. Why is that going viral? Because you know why, bro. You literally know why. It wasn't a foul. It wasn't. A, I thought it was a foul. No, it wasn't. He just missed. He sucks, bro. He's not good. So you think he's ever going to be good? No. You don't think so? When Braun retires, he has one year he's out the league. Wow. One year he's out the league? One year. He's garbage, bro. I don't think we so. Got, if we got NBA players that's watching him play going, he ain't good. Mm. You seen Devin Booker say that? Yeah. Bro, he's not good. And you didn't. I was waiting for you to bring it up because you didn't bring it up. Oh, he, I know you had a heart attack. He had a heart attack. I was going to bring it up. He had a heart attack. He's just coming off a heart attack. Not hearing it. You know why? He's not fat. He's not slow. He's still fast. He's not. He, he, he jump high. He's athletic and shit. He's in shape. He's just not good at basketball. The heart attack <laughs> did not take the skill of basketball away from him. I think Bronny. He's athletically. He's athletically. Yes. Athletically, he's a, he's, he's a, he's a great athlete. Mm-hmm. He's still a great athlete, and that's the problem. Because if you want to blame a heart attack, he shouldn't be a great athlete. He should be recovering. He should be slow. He should be out of breath. No, he's lazy. He has no skill. He's a bro. He's shooting like zero percent in the and from three. Why is he chucking up these threes? Why are you not running the floor? Why are you not get like? Why are you not pump faking? Because you see the dude, a big man, jumped out on you. And go into the basket for a layup. I think the pressure is on him, bro. No, he sucks. He don't have. He sucks. I think the pressure is on him, bro. Fuck the pressure. He so, sucks. do you think his other son's gonna make an NBA? Yeah, this is gonna be the same thing. It's two, 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 two No, I think I <laughs> two Lisper. L- I think L- that's a freaking stretch. Lenut L- and Lisper. I think if if Bryce get makes it to the league, Bronny did. Nah, Br- Bronny better than they, Bryce they, though. They, 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 they if just, Bronny had Bryce's body, he'll be way better. No, nah, because he's already, he's not skilled. He's ass. Hey man, Bronny, I believe in you, bro. Yeah, Keep working. Yeah. Use this as fuel and motivation, bro. Yeah, you, your assness to get better, nigga. Get okay. Fucking garbage. Uh, Jordan, yeah. P- we have another hot take that is coming from it's just underscore Kev. The last one came from Promise Ray. Mm-hmm. Jordan, he says Jordan Poole is gonna go off this season. I agree. I think Jordan. I think. I think it was just. What are we much. talking about going off? Like, what does that imply? Like twenty two points, maybe. Maybe 22 points. 22 points? Yeah. 22 points, 23 points. I just think he is not a number one option. No, he's not a number one option. I think he goes on a team like Denver and thrives. Oh, yeah. But I think also... Or the Magic. Yeah, I think he thrives on the Magic, too. I think it was too... First of all, it was too much pressure getting punched. I know. He got freaking punched. I think it was too much... I think it was too much like expectations on him. Yeah, it was a lot. And now, like now, like he's like now that the expectations is gone, like people like seeing for what he really is. I think he's, he gets he's and I think he's more comfortable in Washington. Because I'm not gonna lie, his last like last half of the season, he hooped. He didn't. He wasn't playing garbage. Oh really? He was actually doing pretty decent. Yeah, he's playing decent his last half of the season. Like I don't think he's a. I don't think he's your number one option. I don't think he's your starting point guard. But mm. your six man. I think he goes to a team and be a contender. Like I think he has a he has a bounce back year. I think he's gonna. You know what I think is gonna happen. I think he's gonna have a good year this year. Like average 20, 20 21 points on a good efficiency, and then he's gonna get traded. Nah, he's not getting traded this year. You don't think? So? No, not this year. I mean, like next year. Yeah, he, yeah, I can see that. They use that as trade bait, get more draft picks, depending on how Alex Sar looks, because they got a lot of good rookies. I ain't gonna lie. Alex Sar is garbage. Not uh, not that not him. The other dudes. The, oh, the there's a oh, dude man. that there's a dude uh from. My, he went to the University of Miami. The Knicks picked the the Knicks drafted him, and traded him, but he traded him. His name is Keontae George, and he's looking oh, really. He's looking pretty he's decent. Not, he's not on. What? He's not on Washington. Yes, he is. He's in Utah. No, no, not Keontae George. Keisha, his name's Keyshawn George. Keyshawn George. Light skin, tall, light skin, six eight, six nine, three and D player. Like I ain't gonna lie, he's looking kind of nice, bro. And I'm pissed off because I liked when they drafted him because you know we had two we had two back to back first round picks. Mm. We picked the dude from France, and then we traded that second one. I wish we would have kept that one, bro. 
because he looks actually pretty decent. Mm. But I think the dude from France is gonna he's gonna pan out. I think like after seeing him, he's gonna sit down sit out a couple like you know this year. Watch OG Mikel, and then I feel like he's gonna get incorporated into the lineup maybe next year or the year after that. Maybe get like some he run. Might take he might take Jericho Sims minutes. He should. I was talking about the dude from France. Not, yeah. Not the German dude. I want the German dude to play more than Jericho Sims also because Jericho Sims is freaking ass. He has, He's so, like, he could be so much better. Built like Tar- Tarzan and play like Jay. Play like freaking Jay. But he was never, he wasn't even playing like that at Texas. Like, what is it? I don't know. Like, I don't understand He's you like that has, big in Brawl. I don't even think he, he just has zero basketball IQ. I know. It's just so, he looks so lost out yeah, there. I'm like, looks, are you like, good? Does, not even that he's ass. He just looks, doesn't know what he's doing out there. Like, I know it shouldn't be that hard, like, as a, as a big. I feel like it's not that hard. And he, ha- he has all the potential in, like, he, like, body frame, bounce. He has all of that. I don't know. Hey, man. Garbage. Your time is dwindling, Jericho. I'm telling you right now. But honestly, we ha- we don't really have a backup small forward on the Knicks. So pa- the, the dude from France, he can actually he can actually slide in there pretty well. So we'll see how that goes. Close. I meant to say that. <laughs> the next thing that we do, we actually posted this on our broadcast channel. So make sure y'all join our broadcast channel to see some new. Um, That's to- all the, that was all the that was all the hot takes. No, no, this is another hot oh. take that I didn't uh, screenshot. So call. Callum Cody says Shea is ass. Jalen Brunson is better. I don't think he's ass, but I, I don't like, think he's I ass. Like, I like I like Brunson, but more than I, I like Shea. Yeah, I, defensively I like Shea, but Brunson I feel like does Brunson's more with what he, I know. I ain't gonna lie, like he really be getting to the rack. That nigga Brunson is nice, bro. And then pull ups, I'm like, I, yo, the when middies, nigga. I've never been so hyped to watch a Knicks game in my life. Like watching a Knicks game because when I watch Knicks games and we get them well, shots, turn around jump, and he shoots that little pivot, and it, and it goes pivot, in. Pivot I'm like, it's so beautiful, bro. I'm so used to people like, missing, <laughs> bro. I'm used to people missing shots. Nah. So in the clutch, like freaking not not Melo. Melo was cool, but like freaking when Julius Randle was missing, I don't even remember. Y'all don't even y'all wasn't there when Tony Douglas was starting at point guard. First of all, Tony, I fucking love. Tony I love Douglas. Tony Douglas too. That's what I'm saying. I ain't bashing him. I love him. Tony Douglas, I, bro. Well, that one game he had like nine threes like or whatever. Now. He's definitely like a freaking accountant or something. Tony Douglas, I love financial Tony advisor. Douglas. He was a cool guy. Nigga, y'all wasn't there for Ron Baker, nigga. Oh my god, that that school shooter looking mother effer, bro. We went from Ron Baker to Tyler Coke. Shout out to him, bro. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, how about uh that one dude? What was that dude? He looked Haitian as hell. Forgot what his name. Okay. What Ronnie Brewer? Remember Ronnie, oh, Brewer? Ronnie Brewer with the with the extendo arm, looking yeah. crooked as hell. Oh no, my was, god! Was, Alfred Payton was pretty bad too. Alfred me. Payton was pretty horrible. There was a guy I forgot what his name was. He played with Chris Copeland in them. Oh my gosh! Was it? Uh, no. What year was Chris Copeland? Was that 2014? Was it, was it, you talking about the dude with the dreads? Yes. No. Big? No. 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 Uh, like Jordan something. I think. Oh, that's um Jordan Hill. Nah, not Jordan Hill. Um, what was his name? Oh my gosh, he's gonna. Oh, kick. Was it Chris Copeland? Chris Co- Copeland. Langston Galloway, by the way. Nah, Langston Galloway. Who he still played for the Olympic, uh, the FIBA team. Or something yeah, I know. Like I think it was Chris Copeland. I'm thinking about. No, that's what I was talking. Yeah, that's what he was talking about. I'm trying to think of. I'm trying to look at the Knicks roster. There was a guy who's freaking buns. Oh my gosh, I can't remember what his name was. I'm gonna freaking Jared I'm, Jeffries was so bad. Jared Jeffries so was it Solomon Jones? I don't remember Solomon. Quinn, we had we were Quinn Richards was oh, on team. Quinn Qu- Quincy AC was a dog for us, bro. I know, but yeah, we, we we we've been going through a lot, bro. But we're we're starting to Earl Barron. I remember that. Yeah, Derek name. Williams. Derek Williams who for us though. The the that's the one that was number two overall pick. Yeah, I think he's he freaking in ass. Hey man, he hooped for us though. Yeah, no, he was all right. But speaking of Minnesota, Phil's do Scorpion says the Timberwolves is going to be in the finals this year. Yeah, I don't think so. Give it two more years, and then we go. We'll, we'll talk about that. Yeah. And I already, then I already went on my spiel about the uh, Minnesota, but yeah, yeah, I don't, that's what I think about it. I don't know. And then last one we have Il Ilyelon. This year is going to be. He says this year is going to be a controversial MVP race, and AD will be in the MVP race this year. 
No. I don't think so. The only way he's going to be in the MVP race is if the Lakers make it like fourth or fifth seed. Yeah. And I don't think they're going to make it there. I think they are a ways, world, worlds away from that. So I don't know, bro. Defensive player of the year, of course. But nah, I don't know about MVP, bro. Unless he's averaging 32 and 14. I don't know if that's going to happen. But Corey, I have some other questions for you, my brother. You want to do chimps? <laughs> what? Nah, I skipped over Chim's. I he, Chim was talking about Payton Pritchard. I was like, yeah, nah. You say Payton Pritchard? What? Payton Pritchard OD, which he is nice. He's not. I mean, it's it's preseason. Yeah, I know. Drew, uh, no, it's, what's his name? Drew Holiday not playing. So yeah, I'm so pr- once 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 Drew Holiday comes back and Pritchard goes, Pritchard's ass to the bench. I think Taylor, I think Tyler Cole could be like a Payton Pritchard. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Shout out to you, Chim. Now shout mm-hmm. out to you, Chim. But I got another question, Corey. So. Of course, this is a sports podcast, people, but we also like to do a little bit of twists and turns because we are the No Regulars Podcast. So I have a list of NBA players, and I want to know if you would pick these NBA players to be with you in a zombie apocalypse. Okay. All right? So the first player is... About, and speaking of, I've been getting cooked from my, my, my zombie apocalypse. You were. But like I said, nigga, like I'm here for a zombie apocalypse, I'm here for a good time, not a long time, nigga. Fuck y'all niggas want to survive and shit for. It <laughs> was mad at you because you didn't pick Cyclops. They say you picked mad, normal I humans. Pick Iron Man. I ain't picked Iron Man either, nigga. I don't, <laughs> nigga, I ain't trying to be with Playboy, genius, philanthropy boy. Like, you know, <laughs> I, all that money for what? You got all that money, guess what? We don't got nothing. Yeah, bro. Go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm going for vibes, nigga. Hey, I respect it. All right, bro. So, would you pick these NBA players to be with you in a zombie apocalypse? First player is Jalen Brown. He kind of smart. I'm going to say he's smart as hell. Yeah, he's smart. I'll take him. He's smart. He's smart. You think he'll help you? Yeah, but I feel like he'll get on my fucking nerves. I was just about to say that, too. I feel like he's going to be too damn smart, like a know-it-all. Shut the fuck up. Like, like, we should do this. I'm like, yo, shut the hell up. Yeah, yeah, I I don't want to do all that. Like, like we need to go through this to get to this point. Like, nah, I'm not going through the zombie. Like, no. I want to smack him. I know. And I don't want to play chess because... Do you know how to play chess, actually? I'm not good at it. Okay, I'm a pretty mid also. All right, next player up, OG and an OB. Nah, he, gonna, he, give, he, give me, he give me Diddy vibes, bro. Nah, nah, he, he don't give me Diddy. He nah, give me give Crash me, Out. Yeah, he give me Kawhi vibes, bro. Like, I don't feel like... I don't feel safe around him. Yeah, I don't feel safe around him, bro. Like, yeah, nah. I feel like we're going to go, like, like into, like, a like Just high... quiet for me. I'm like, what you thinking, bro? Like, what you thinking? Like... Oh, yeah, he's not going to give me not, nothing. Yeah, like, what you, why are you quiet? Like, nah, bro. Nah, he really looked like he got touched somewhere, like... I ain't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me skip that. He, he got touched because he quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Next player, we got Ja Morant. Hell yeah, give me Jai Wick, nigga. It's gonna be lit. I told you I'm here for a long, t- uh, uh, good, a good time, time now. Long, long time. Y'all niggas is dying. I'm not gonna lie. I don't, nah, me, I, I, me, Jai will be Jai gonna walk around pointing that gun sideways like this, like he, 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 and that's just not gonna I, work. I, I know he's gonna have that 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 pole for them zombies, bro. So we cool, bro. That pole. Come on, that's that stick. Feel me? That's sticky icky. You know what I'm saying? That, sticky that, icky. That, it's not getting better for that you. Glizzy, you feel me? That glizzy. It's glock, still getting worse. That glizzy Glock. You feel me? That's a crazy name for a Glock. I ain't gonna lie. Like Stendo with that dick on it. <laughs> okay. All right. Next player up, we got Rudy Gobert. Nah, I just don't like him. Come on, bro. He's seven foot what two. What the fuck is he gonna do? I'm gonna throw him to a zombie for a zombie <laughs> to eat him first. I don't, nah, you don't want him to be a zombie. That would be freaking crazy. Yeah, a seven the, foot zombie? What the fuck I want height for in zombie apocalypse? I don't know. He can help you out with something. Yeah. Well, something off the top shelf. I yeah. He's a fucking top shelf. I'm six two. Bro. <laughs> I don't need him. Go okay, ahead. okay. I'm going to get emotional because he already almost started a zombie apocalypse. He gave everybody COVID. Fuck him. <laughs> that is true. I ain't going to lie. That was a crazy time, bro. He was like, bro, I ain't going to be sick. He was really sick up in there and gave everybody COVID in the freaking Utah Jazz organization. All right. And the last player up, we got Zion. I ain't going to eat all the food. I know. I'm about to say I can't feed because. Yeah, I can't. He's going to try to eat me out there. I don't. Him as a zombie would be OD. You know he saying, really going to be munching. Yeah, and then, like, if he die, he going to... Nah, I'm not fucking with that. Nigga. I don't want to fuck with the, the, the whole uh, zombie Zion. Cleaner. Yeah, Hall of Fame plate cleaner. I don't want that nigga. He lost some weight, though. Yeah, he going to gain it back. Like, it Has he been playing good. well in the preseason? Mm-hmm. I, haven't, I haven't heard nothing. Because, you know, usually, like, if... Like players are doing well, like like a Zion, like Ja, they always post things. I haven't seen nothing about Zion. I haven't seen nothing about Ja either. So... Oh, no, I seen I seen Ja punch somebody, shot out of bounds, but then he got he rolled his ankle. Oh, I didn't see that. Like I think they did a bounce pass and he stepped on the ball as soon as they bounced past it and he rolled his ankle. Damn. That's freaking terrible timing, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. But 
Um, Corey, actually, I got another game that we could play. Mm. It is so I have a, a bunch of questions and it's like trivia questions, and I just want you you have to guess what the answer is. So it's basically like the guessing game with NBA players. So who averaged more points last season, Giannis Antetokounmpo or Shea Gilgis Alexander? Who averaged more points? Giannis. Is that your final answer? Mm-hmm. That is correct. I think Giannis averaged point three points more than Shea. Yeah. I'd be forgetting because he he did get hurt last like couple was it the last game of the season or something he got hurt? Oh Shea. No, Giannis. When did he get? Oh hurt? yeah, he got hurt. Yeah, yeah. He got He's hurt, like but... way towards the end. Mm-hmm. They he should have freaking won, bro. And then we would have pre- the he had to run to the pages and now Tyrese Halliburton think he freaking Trey Young bum ass nigga. Hate that nigga, bro. Next question we got: Who averaged more rebounds, Luka Doncic or Alperen Sengun? <laughs> Alperen, nah. Like Luka averaged like nine point four last year. Uh huh. I'm gonna go Luka. Never mind Luka. Nah, Luka. Alperen, Alperen, Alperen. That's easy. Alperen. Alperen, yeah. correct. Alperen averaged nine point eight, and Luka was nine point six. Oh, I knew it was something like that. He was right there in the cusp, bro. Um, oh, look. Jay said hi. Hold hi, on. Jay. Jay said hi to the podcast. Hi, Brady. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> hi, Jay. Corey said hi. I love you. Mm, that, was, that was dry. Because she's mad because you, you got me here at 3 a.m. Bro, I'm, bro, I'm here. Yeah, that's like, I'm here with him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. At least I came. <laughs> what is that? He said, at least I came. You right. <laughs> Corey's the new uh number one. He he ahead of Fritz. And I just the new Fritz. And I just and I just spent six hours scaring white people. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was in a haunted house. Like he was one of the actors. Oh. Yeah. I love you. I love you. <laughs> 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 All right, sorry, people. Jay had a little cameo. Corey looking at me like I'm crazy. Okay, bro. All right, who averaged more assists, Tyus Jones or Jalen Brunson? I don't know what Tyus Jones averaged, but I know Brunson averaged six point five. Six point five or six point two, I think. He needs to average like he gonna average like eight this year, bro. Damn, I don't know what Tyus Jones averaged. Ah, I don't know what he averaged. I'm gonna I'm gonna go Brunson. Brunson? Yeah. Tyus Jones is actually the correct answer. He oh. averaged 7.9. Damn, Tyus? He be diamond that thing, bro. Why, Tyus? Diamond that thing, bro. Who in has... Washington? Who the fuck you be passing to in Washington? Kyle Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma been freaking ass. Damn, Yo, they done me- he done messed up his draft. First of all, why the hell is he signed to the Wizards? That's how you know Cuz don't care no I more. Think got, I think he, he could have got traded to Dallas yeah. in the uh, trade deadline. And he was like, nah, I want to build something in Washington. All right, stupid. He a freaking idiot. I'm not going to lie. He's an idiot. You know why? He would have never said that if he never won a ring. Mm-hmm. He would have never said that. He was, he was low-key supposed to be in that. It was supposed to be him and Gafford instead of Gafford and P.J. Washington. Yeah. He's a freaking idiot. But now look at his dumb ass. He's freaking stuck in uh, Washington. I think, no, I think he could have still came. I, th- I, th- I, don't, I think Gafford, I think Washington still could have got, oh, got them? all three of them. I think he got all three of them. That's He's a fucking idiot. Hey, I want to build something. I respect it and don't at the same time because you're wilding, buddy. I don't know. There's nothing to build there. Literally, it's just bricks with no instructions. Like, you're just there. And he's chucking bricks because mm-hmm. it was airballing like crazy. I'm not going to lie. You you, you, an NBA player and you airballing is insane to me. I ain't never, I'll never understand. Unless, like, you have, maybe you sick or you just, maybe it slipped out of your hands. But consistently airballing is wild. But, all right. Who has more career points, John Morant or R.J. Barrett? Dang, R.J. Barrett played a longer. But John Morant was averaging points, though. No injuries. Same draft, though. Two and three. R.J. Barrett. R.J. Barrett. Correct. R.J. Barrett had 6,000 points or has 6,000 points and counting. John Morant has over a little over 5,000 and counting. And the last question I have for you, Corey, is who has more wins all time? The Hornets franchise? Or LeBron? The Pelicans franchise? Or LeBron James? LeBron. You think so? Yes, LeBron. 
It's actually the Hornets. Oh, it's the Hornets? Oh. It's crazy. LeBron has more career wins than the Pelicans. LeBron has like 950 something, mm -hmm. and the Pelicans have like 830 something. Oh, That's thought, insane work. I thought LeBron, I thought LeBron, Pat, I think uh, he got probably got more playoff wins than. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got, more, he got more something. He got more playoff wins than, um, than, uh, than that team. But I That's remember crazy, I was seeing I was seeing this thing on TikTok. There was like a thing going around. They were saying what is harder to achieve, mm -hmm. LeBron's forty thousand points in his career or Michael Jordan's ten scoring titles. What I, do you think is harder in your opinion? I'll say I'll say Bron, because Bron is more, it's more longevity. They yeah. like, think about it like Kobe played twenty one healthy years. You don't think Kobe would have passed him? Oh, if he would have played 21 healthy years? I'm saying, Kobe played 21 healthy years. You don't think he'd pass Braun? He definitely would have. I ain't gonna lie. You feel me? Like, if he never tore his uh, freaking T Achilles. T-Mac plays 21 healthy years. You know, like... Yeah. Like, I, like, I, I think all, all, all it does is, is boil down to longevity. Uh -huh. Michael Jordan played 21 healthy years. Yeah. Like, come, that's all it comes down to, like, longevity. That's what LeBron's greatest attribute is, which I think is... More than we know, it's something that we don't appreciate. No, I mean, no, I think it's something I think niggas on steroids, but <laughs> you know, some drug. I don't know what it is yeah, because the, the statistic is to re, to do what LeBron did. You got to average over twenty four points a game for twenty years, yeah, straight, which is very hard. The only person that pro could probably do it right now, maybe Luca, if he's at at this pace, maybe Luca, yeah, maybe Luca, but KD was on pace, but. Nah, he's, he's I don't think Luca has that in him to do that. Years. Yeah, he don't he don't care that much. Like I feel like LeBron had things to prove. Luca had things to prove too, but like he from yeah. Europe. Luca been playing professional since he was fourteen. So like he as I'm saying, we were saying before, Luca could be in the Hall of Fame without his NBA career. Yeah. But I think I remember they was doing statistics like what there's like there's there's like a bigger possibility of somebody reaching LeBron's status mm. of forty K than Jordan reaching the ten be the ten uh uh, scoring ties because that means you have, in like you have to average I think thirty one points a game for ten years to get a chance to be a scoring champion. Uh, so that's a lot of freaking buckets. But I still think LeBron the forty k. That's I don't think nobody's ever gonna touch that one. Like I says, all it all is about like, we never we're never gonna see longevity like LeBron ever again. In our no, life. never. And not even our lives. Like we're like no one's ever gonna see that again. Unless they start having AIs play basketball, like you know, and you never know. You see Elon Musk with them freaking eye robots, it's yeah, creeping me out. He needs to stop, he's ch man. he's wilding. I ain't gonna lie, he's bugging out. Doing too much, <laughs> he's man. doing. We didn't ask for that. <laughs> we we done seen the movies, cause I don't want that, bro. And if you played a game, you ever played the game Detroit? It's te the, the, it starts twenty uh, two thousand thirty eight, bro. We not that far from that, niggas. Bro, that's bugging, like fifteen bro. years from now, not fourteen years from now, bro. Yeah. Hey, man. We just, I'm just going about my daily life as a normal human being with the podcast. I don't want to get into them politics, bro. But I also, I got another question for you, Corey. Until what age could you beat LeBron in a one-on-one -on -one basketball game? Like 12. 12? When he was 13, he's busting my ass, probably. <laughs> you think so? Probably was 13, 6'6", six, six, dunking and shit. Yeah, he'd probably be killing me. I bro. think, I, I'm not going to lie, I think I got like, no, like at 10. Ten year old oh, Bron. Ten, ten year old Bron. I'm, I think I I I probably I probably shoot from the stars at twelve. He probably probably bust my ass at because he was like six eight at fourteen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that's what I'm saying. Thirteen, thirteen probably was the growth spurt right before the growth spurt. Bro. I'm, and I'm imagine, oh, you, oh, right before the growth spurt. I'm gonna catch him right before the growth spurt. Bro. And think about it. That's like that's like peak energy, not peak athleticism, peak energy. Yeah. So he probably active all over the place. Mm -hmm. Game the fifth, game to uh twelve. I'm going to score a cool 6 7 though. But he going to give me like Yeah, he might kick. He might cook you. But nah, there's no way a 12-year-old though. This LeBron James is not a 12-year-old. Come on, bro. Not the same, bro. I want to this I need to experience Now pause. That sounds crazy. I don't need to experience that, but I just want to see what the height like what it is cuz I like I've seen some young dude like I remember there was a kid his name was he plays at Providence right now. His name was Jaden Pierre, or whatever, mm -hmm. and he played at St. Patrick's. But I remember. Oh, what you call it? The bro's brother. Uh, Who? Is it not St. Pierre Lewis' brother? No, 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 not him. Not Josh. Not Josh. His name was Jaden Pierre. He went to St. Pat's, 
And me and Ish used to go to Keen. Like, because I don't know if you peep Keen has, I don't know if you ever been to Keen outdoor courts. Mm -hmm. Like, like, have you been there? I've seen it. You've seen it? So, like, Keen, like, we was, everybody used to hoop there all the time. Mm -hmm. And I remember he used to go there and play with us. And his dad used to bring him. Mm -hmm. And he was probably, I was, I was already in college. I think I was like, we, we were sophomores in college. I think he might have been either eighth grade. And I, when I tell you, Corey, he was cooking. He was always on my team, though. Uh -huh. He was cooking these. Like, I'm talking about he, he, whap from deep, like, like Curry. I'm like, who the hell is this kid? I didn't know who he was at the time. Uh -huh. And he was at least maybe like 12 or 13, like cooking these dudes. Yeah, so you think LeBron James not doing that? Yeah, probably. He probably just gonna overpower the hell out of me, bro. He probably, uh, probably like six two, six three at, at twelve. He probably got bunnies, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Probably jumping like, over probably my caught, ass. Probably caught his first dunk already. That's crazy, bro. How old were you when you caught your first? When you caught your first dunk? Summer of sophomore year. Of high school. Uh -huh. Mm. How'd you feel? What was your? What was it? I was like, I, 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 I. I I felt I got over the threshold and I was gonna be dunking on niggas. I'm like, yeah. Oh I really? I got it. But <laughs> call my first dunk is over. It's only up from here, nigga. I'm about to start doing between the legs. <laughs> it's only up from here. It's crazy. East Bay's fucking windmills. I'm like, it's only up for here. It was like, nah, nigga, this is where your bounce stops, bro. But I never understood with me, right? Cause I used to have the equipment, bro. I remember my dad bought me the freaking jump the the, the little shrimp shoes. I had the shrimp shoes. Is that the one where you always stand on your, your tippy toes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had those. But I had the things broke because they don't sell them no more. So mm -hmm. I think he found somebody that had them and he bought them yeah, or he gave them. Like, I bought them like eBay or some shit. Yeah, like eBay. But my the my, my 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 platforms broke off, so I had to put some super glue on it. Mm -hmm. And then I was just using them every day, walking around jumping. I would run my like run around the block with them. Mm -hmm. And then I had this little jumper tech thing, like it's from like you know the people that make the the ladders yeah. that brand. It was them. They had a jumping thing where it's like. Like you're in a squat and then you jump up and it's like you get like bands connected to you. Mm -hmm. Use that junk every day. Bro, I used to do freaking box jumps on the park, bro. Look at my freaking leg, cuz. Yeah, I know. That's from the freaking scrape I my did, knee did, on that junk. I did that. I did the Vertimax. Yeah, I did the Vertimax. Yes, bro. I had a bro, I had a trainer. I went to a trainer, I think when did I go to him? I think it was sophomore year. I started going to him sophomore year of high school. It was a trainer in Edison and the gym next to him. There was a there was a training spot and then a, there was a basketball gym next to it. That's where Carl Anthony Towns used to play at. Mm. Like used to, they used to have open runs over there, but I didn't know that at the time. So I used to go to the, my trainer. I remember he had the Vertimax and stuff. We did jumping exercises. We used to do speed training, agility, all that. And I'm like, dang, where did I think the the I didn't have bounce because I didn't have abs. I told you. You never had abs, bro. The core. That's how you get the core comes Yeah, from the core comes from jumping like a spring. I never had that. Yeah. But I tried. I tried. Yeah, I literally you tried. Try, you didn't try hard enough. What do you mean I didn't try? I got abs now. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I Pause this. I'll, I'll show you my abs after this. Of course you will. <laughs> yeah. But I do have abs. You know what I never understood about me, though? What? I think I just never knew how to jump. Oh, like actually? I'll get high as fuck for a rebound. A rebound, nigga? Me too. I'll get up for a board. Bro, I be feel like I be high as hell getting rebounds. No, I don't feel I, I literally seen a picture one time. I, like my I, somebody took a picture of me. Like my dad, not somebody, my dad took a picture of me. Yeah. And I went up for a board and like my like I had like this much over the rim. <laughs> really? And I'm like, yo, hold on. <laughs> Wait, I, you had that do you have that picture? I gotta find it in my in my phone somewhere. Probably in my dad's phone. Yeah, yeah. But I'm like, yo. I'm like Nigga, I you got, up there? I got up for that. <laughs> Nigga, I tried to duck the next day. I couldn't duck. I'm like, yo, what the hell? Bro? I don't get like it's, I just got up for a board like it was nothing. Like like and it was effortless. Like I didn't yeah. like, <sighs> like it was like a pat. Like I'm like up here. I'm like that's no. what I'm saying. But you know what? You know what I think is I think that stuff helped me with my second jump. I had a great second jump because I had a really good second I jump. Had, I, ain't gonna I had a great second jump. Cause not, not no more. <laughs> like, cause my dad, like I learned, I learned from my dad, cause my dad was really good at rebounding in college. Mm -hmm. So I always had a good second jump. So like, if I would go up for you, get I'm I'm keeping that in there. What you mean, I just joined. No, no, you didn't. If so, if I would miss my shot, I could go get my own rebound. Yeah, me too. I could always do that. I had a great second jump, but like I don't know what it was about the first one. Like no, I like I like I for a rebound, nigga. I would yo, I would get a, I'll get up for a board. I'm bro. saying. 
I, I haven't tried to dunk in mad long. I don't think I'm not gonna do. It. I'm gonna hurt I myself. Tried, I tried the oh, I'm not game. I really? was not. I was actually wasn't a bad attempt. Really? Yeah, like I, I rim grazed. Really? Yeah, yeah like I ain't, I ain't miss terrible. I just think like I remember like when we like when I, when we used to be in layup lines. I remember they used to tell me, I forgot who told me. I think one of Tyrone, like one of our friends from high school, he was like, "Yo, you gotta jump a little further." Yeah, people just further away. Too. I, I I was I was I I started jump my, too close. I started my jump too late. Yeah, uh-huh. and it's like you're not you're not really going straight up. You're going like at an angle like uh-huh. this. So you gotta like jump further out and just jump high, and it's just gonna propel you that way. Yeah. So when I started doing that, I remember I caught my first dunk sophomore year of college. You went. It was the summer league I'm at Keen. If you talking about that, the dunk at at, at Keen. Were at at in the layup that was in the dunk there. No, it was in summer league. Right. Tyrone was there and he witnessed it and he looked at me like, "What the hell happened?" I was like, "I just ju- I just dunked the ball." I was so excited. Right. I'll never forget that. Okay. I'll never forget that feeling. I was like, "Oh, I never forget that, bro." So I could say I dunked the basketball in my life. Yeah, nice. I can say it, bro, because some people might never dunk a basketball in their life. I, don't, I remember Rowan of our freshman year. We went to Rowan. I don't know what it was about that day. <laughs> I had the stupid bounce that day. Yeah. Like I was cranking it, bro. <laughs> I don't know what it was about that day, bro. I was cranking Did it. Did we get blown out that day? I don't remember. That was senior, it was definitely senior night. Because we always play a role yeah. in senior night. I don't know. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was about that day, bro. Like even my jellies was looking like a oh, it, was it was there. It was fluid. Like I don't know what about that day was so fluid about me, bro. Dang. My 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 back stretch was like a, I was touching my numbers. Like Ugh. I'm like, yo, hold on. That's why I just. That's the only reason I miss hooping. It keeps me in shape. Like yo, why am I jumping so high? If I was like, what is that? What is that? Yeah, you're not, you're not fingernailing no more. What was that? <laughs> and now niggas won't admit that they seen it with their eyes. I hate niggas, bro. I seen you do a 360 before. I'm, that was you that seen it. I was, I was talking. Right there. I was talking to Quincy because me and Quincy was having an argument. Nigga said I dunked four times max. <laughs> yeah, in college, <laughs> four times max. Nah, that's od. And I was like, I was like, yo, who seen me do the three sixty? I see. And I, and I thought it was Dante. Nah, I'm not gonna say his bitch ass. Oh, uh, but I thought it was him. I'm like, damn, I can't even ask that nigga, bro. Yeah. I'm not asking that bum ass nigga. No, it was but me. It I was remember definitely that. De- look, there we go. I'm gonna record. I can't wait for this episode to drop. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna screenshot it and send. I'm gonna screen record it and send it to our chat. Nigga, witness right here with his eyes. Nigga, see me do a 360 dunk. Bro. I was right there, people. I seen it. I witnessed it. I was like, dang, I didn't know he had that in his arsenal. Yeah, I never did it again. But yeah, people, y'all think we don't know sports? We were ex college. We hooped. We played basketball, not at the highest level, but at high high level than some of y'all are ever gonna get. Don't do. Don't get it twisted. But I know so, somebody was actually asking me some basketball advice. Really? Yeah, so, uh, kid. I forgot what his name was. Don't go to Rutgers, New York. No, I think he lives in Canada. Oh, so yeah. he said he was a sophomore in college. Don't go to, don't, don't go to Mount Vernon. <laughs> That's in Florida. That's in Canada, isn't it? No, no, no. Mount Vernon. I thought that was. I thought that was like in Vermont. What's in Canada? I don't freaking know. Oh. But I just think he was at. He was saying like he was a sophomore in high school. He's playing varsity. Like what? He, like who should he watch? I was like, bro, if you're a guard, you gotta watch Jalen Brunson. That is the one because the reason why is because. That man knows how to... You have to learn... This is what I should have... I wish someone would have told me earlier is play off two feet and how, how like... Gr- what somebody told me when I was young and, I, and he cooked me too, right? Yeah. This is how, this is how I realized. First of all, you have to be realistic about who you play like and who what your peak is. Yeah. So, like me as a six... Well, I was a, I was a big I was a big so I was yeah. a six as a six two big, I should have been watching more Draymond. Yeah, more I don't know who else is a small big, but even then, like like more Dennis Rodman. Who are you watching? Blake Griffin. Like I got bounce. <laughs> like I'm, I know I was. You know it's crazy. Like just watch. <laughs> like looking back at it, the the way I played. Like I I watched a lot of like Monte Ellis. Yeah, you had you wasn't fast. No, not fast as Monte. You but know, I was always going to the rack though. You, yeah. I wasn't making the lays. <laughs> you know what I'm saying you, you should have been. My watching, floaters was freaking. Should have been watching Tyreek Evans. Like, feel me? Yeah. You should have been watching. If Brunson was back then, I'll be watching Brunson because yeah. you know what Chase told me. I, because you know Chase footwork is immaculate. He always went off two feet. 
Yeah. Every time. He wasn't athletic, though. Exactly. He didn't need, you don't need to be athletic. You should have been watching Ty Lawson. Ah, that's a good one. See? Like, literally, that's why, that's why I tell all the little kids at camp, they used mm-hmm. to be, because, like, like, of course, it's good to go off one foot, like, if you're wide open or if there's an open lane, but you got to go off two feet, especially if you're not big. Mm-hmm. If you're not cramming on nobody or you're not going to get up there, if you go off two feet, you get more balance and it gives you more time to focus on the backboard and make the layup. Mm-hmm. But shout out to you. If you any more advice, hit me in the DMs. Coach Austin, I'm gonna, I'll never forget this. Coach Austin said, he, we, was, we came from a game. He said, who do you think you play like? I said, Blake Griffin. He laughed. He said, now nah, you play like Tyson Chandler. <laughs> and I was so offended. Really? I'm like, Tyson Chandler, what? But like now I get it. Tyson Chandler, that guy. Yeah, you feel me? That guy. And for real, for real, I should have said Dennis Rodman. Should have. I played, I played like the worm, you feel me? Yeah, man. You should have, honestly. Like, you feel me? Like, I understand it now. You have to look at your play type. Like, I, right, who can I realistically play like? Like you right now, you're realistic. Your ceiling probably was Brunson. All right, let me watch a lot of Brunson. Cause yeah, I'm a small guard. I'm not athletic, but I can get footwork. I was yeah. a small big. I'm not that athletic. All right, let me watch. Let me watch bigs that don't use that don't rely on their athleticism. Yeah, they're short. I used to think I played like Westbrook, Zebo. I should have been watching Zebo. Yeah, me too. I thought I played like D Rose. Bro, I was I freak- nothing like D Rose because I used to freaking go to because the way I be going to the rack and the anger. Fucking watching D Rose, thinking I can, yeah, I, I hop step. <laughs> hey man, fucking work for me, nigga. Hey, it's gonna work for our kids though. Our kids are gonna make it to the league. Best believe that. I'm, 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 I'm gonna. That's why I'm, I wear number I'm, zero. I'm gonna impregnate an African Zulu bitch. <laughs> Zulu is crazy. Bush bitch with mad bounce. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, make sure if y'all like this podcast. Like, comment, subscribe, post notifications if you enjoy the sports podcast. If you want more likes, of these. 25 likes on the post. Come on, I ain't that right. We're going to be back for our All-Star Weekend. Don't worry, people. So mid-season, we're going to be back with our sports podcast. But you got any other questions or any topics you want to talk about before we end the podcast, Core? Do you want to tell them what time it is, actually? It, it is currently. Because I'll tell them. 3.24 p.m. It's not p.m. 3.24 a.m. And y'all don't know this pie is gonna be dropping today, technically. So He's we're lying. doing this for y'all, man. He's lying. It's not AM. What do you mean it's not AM? It's PM. Are you? It's light outside. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You don't know. Listen to Corey. But do you have anything else you want to talk about, Corey? Anything else you want to say? Sleep. <laughs> yeah, I think it's time to go, bro. Let's let's end it off with reading our Patreon subscribers. So if you're new. Subscribe to our Patreon. We have free members. We got three dollar tier members. We got five dollar tier members, and we got ten dollar tier members. You want to read or you want me? Let me read them things. All right, bro. let me read the first ones. Cause I didn't put these on the list. So shout out to our free members. We got Gangster Gamer GSG, Ooh. who just joined as a free member six days ago. Shout out to you, Gangster Gamer. Amir Al Daraji joined September twenty eighth, the day after my birthday. Muhammad, you're the one who canceled, mother effer. Get your money up. Triz.4K joined a month ago. And Taj Patterson. So shout out to y'all. And now Corey is going to read the rest and let him let him cook. Fuck you, Muhammad. <laughs> Dude, it's okay, bro. You're going to be back. They always come back. They always come back. Yeah, that'd be me subscribing to my OnlyFans, bitches. I always come back eventually. You be sub- you be subscribing? Fuck no. I'm about to say. Reddit's free. <laughs> For our free subscribers. Shout out to y'all, man. Get your money up, though. Jalen Strong. The strongest. Did Jay see me? Hmm? Did Jay see me? Probably. No. <laughs> Jalen Strong. Darnell Vanderbay. Shout out to you, Darnell. Vanderbay. Vanderbay. Say, let us know if we said it right. Levi O'Neal, Jordan, Jordan Smith. Mm, very generic name. Javarian Jackson. I don't know if, I think you're from Charlotte. I think you told me you was from Charlotte, my boy. Ha ha, Shavif Zishuf. Who are you? Please let me know. Shafashid. Let me know who you are, for real. My favorite, my heart. I heart big booty freaks, my nigga. I fuck with you, man. I agree, man. You're like the fan favorite around here. Farmington Fleming. Are you white or black? Sound like you sick. No, I think he's just in the country. No, nah, I'm mean like like actually sick. Like, oh, like he's... Oh, oh. Flim, call him a flim. Oh, oh, oh. Gene Paul Sr. Shout out to Junior. Where you a junior at, buddy? Summer McIntyre. Mm. Robert Shelton. Definitely black guy. O'Shea. 
Drew Jaquavion. Jaquavion. Maybe he was the one that's from Charlotte. I don't know. Jaquavion. Jesse Rodriguez. You sound like a porn star. You say that every time. I think there is a porn star. No, it's Jesse Rogers. Freak hands. Rob Quash. Yep, shout out to Rob. Noah. The Shield. Shield. Shout out to you, Noah. Isabella Graham. Yep. Leaky Leaky. Leaky Leaky. DJ Willis. Ramon Padilla. Yep. Raymond Padilla. You got it right. Alyssa Smith. Laquell Ingram. Tyrone's Bowens. Corey Petty and King Fry. Shout out to y'all, our free subscribers. For let y'all know. Round steals. Y'all, y'all paying five dollars a month. Shout out to y'all, the second tier. DJ Khalid. Shout out to you, DJ. Fuck you, Muhammad. Yeah, you unsubscribe, man. That's crazy work, bro. Tamia. Shout out to Mia. Trey Simmons. My boy Trey from Houston. We go meet you, brother. Don't worry. Tune and for the drink our first round lottery picks. The big ten dollar tiers, yes sir. Clap it up, clap it up for the big ballers. It's your birthday. Tavon Cox. Nope, that's not his name. Cox. Tavon Cox. There you go. Plural. No S. No, it's an X. Tavon Cox. There you go. Leland Poole. My Filipino brother, man. You Filipino, you fucking Asian. All right, shout out to my Patreon subscribers. Thank you for subscribe, subscribing to our Patreon. And when Darius are having the free calls, he's going to post it down there. Don't worry, we're going to have um, public free calls in Times Square. So if y'all want to be part of it, tune in. And if y'all new to the channel, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. There's a lot of content coming, people. Tune in for Christmas. Christmas is coming around the corner. We got a lot of things planned, people. Me, Mr. Mr. Grinch. Grinch. And we got Thanksgiving, so we even got a lot more things that's going to happen. So make sure I keep subscribing, keep liking, keep putting post notifications on. Thank y'all for getting us to 12,000 subscribers. We would never got this far without y'all people. And, you know, we don't do it for y'all, but we do it for ourselves. But we're going to continue to do it for. It took y'all fucking long enough. Don't worry. It's only only way up from here, bro. It only, it's only going to get better. It can't get worse. You know what I mean? But any last words, Corey? We regulate, they regulate, they regulate, they regulate, we not different, we regulate, we gangsta. Gangsta. Yep, it's 3.30 in the morning. We different, they regulate, no regs, man. Gangsta. I don't know what I'm saying. 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 I don't know what I'm saying.